It's time once again to tour more of your dream islands. How's it going? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another Crossing Minute live stream where I'm so excited to be going through all the islands of everybody but Butch. Butch is here <laughs> trying to win me over by calling me the golden man. It's not going to work, Butch. It's not going to work because you're on your way out. You're, you are public enemy number one around here, and I'm really glad you're going to be gone soon. Th Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you to those of you who are here live and to those of you who are watching after the fact. By the way, if that is you watching after the fact, be sure you subscribe and hang out with us during the next live stream we have so you can submit your dream island as well. Uh, unlike Butch, who has to head home disappointed. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, also, before we get started tonight, a special announcement. To those watching the stream, you may have seen this. Uh, tonight, we are doing a fundraiser supporting folks in Ukraine. Um, if you want to donate, it's totally optional. Uh, you can donate through the link. If you're watching on YouTube, I think the link is going to be just underneath chat. Uh, there should be a donate option. And what I'm doing is for folks who donate $25 or more, I'm going to make a very stupid shirt for you. Um, and I'll give you an example of what some of my masterpieces kind of look like. This is this is the kind of work you can expect. Uh, here here's my latest work. Um, you know that's that's something. Uh, there's this one we we did for Levi Ghost once, um, and that that is what I was going to say. If you do decide to donate that much and you want a shirt, you have to make sure that you put your name on the donation. There's a little box you check, and uh, that will ensure that I actually uh, can dedicate a shirt to you. I have plenty of design slots. I don't expect we'll run out, but I guess they are limited, so that's a thing that can happen. But as you can see, I don't think we really risk that. Um, and thank you to the $15 we've already raised, uh, which, again, supports families in Ukraine. It gets them water and supplies that they need. So uh, there you go. Um, hello to everybody. I see Pokemon Ranger Denise is here. I see Care Bears here. Celestia Knights helping us moderate. We have Ryan Bollinger here. Alex, how's it going? And Yammy Crossing. Saturday Morning Fan. Uh, Wendy Luna. We have Potato Plays. We have Nicholas. We have Sam Green. 89 Tequila. Hello to uh, Karsten and Seth and Random Garage Films and Ona. Oh, and also, by the way, the Dream Forum is open. You can now submit your dreams. Um, we have Mitsuki and Ghosted O and Rawl, I think. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Anyhow Network, Edu, maybe, maybe not. Stephanie, I like the name is maybe, maybe not. And so it sounded like Edu was me saying, maybe that's their name, but that's not. It's two different people. Uh, Ice Pop is here and Twilight Skittle. Allison, how's it going? And Jay and Neptune. There's so many people here. Um, and Cheerio. So... What we do every so often is we tour your dream islands, and the way it works is there's a form, it is linked down below in the description, and you can submit your island, and there's a chance that it will randomly be picked for a tour. And I always pick the very first person who manages to submit when the form just suddenly opens, and it looks like there's already 10 islands, uh, so 10 of you, 11 of you have managed to submit your islands. Um, so yeah, I already have the first island we're going to tour, and from there it'll be all be random selection. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have some fun. Uh, so the first dream address we're going to is six five five seven zero zero seven seven four eight eight seven. Oops. Perfect. Here we go. Let's see who it is. Faraway Island. The YouTube username is Hope Ren. So, thank you so much, Hope, for submitting your island. You were first, and we're going there right now. All right. Mama Cat, how's it going? And Ona, how's it going? Amelia? E just submitted theirs. Thank you, thank you. Mary Saint, how's it going? Welcome. All right, I'm excited. I've been looking forward to doing this stream and uh, checking out more of your islands. And just as a note, uh, it looks like we'll be live again here on the channel tomorrow. I'm thinking it's probably going to start at the same time as it did tonight, 6.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'm looking to do some more decorating on the Gold Core Island, so I do hope you check that out. I'm always amazed how fast people can fill out the form. <laughs> it is very impressive. 
Um, all right. Let me first uh, put on my regular shirt again. I can't because I'm in a dream, so I guess we'll go with Levi's shirt. That's fine. Um, okay, this flag is like a work of art, and I'm already noticing the island looks like it has a lot of detail to it. Uh, oh, my gosh. How is it? How does this happen? The, the first island we always tour seems to be like this really, like, super, super, super detailed island. <laughs> uh, we have Fauna, Maple, Poppy, Molly, Blair, Lolly, Bee, Mint, Bill and Marshall. Look at that map, though. Uh, okay, I'm already liking what I'm seeing here. It looks like Resident Services is tucked into this little uh, mountain. And then if we just kind of start making our way down to what I assume is the entrance, it's pretty close. you got the Orange Airport, and it's very close to the um, Resident Services. And the campsite is kind of hidden back here next to the beach. Oh, and it has its own private beach. That's really cool. I don't think I've seen that before. That's really clever. I like that a lot. Okay, let's uh, let's sneak back here. I don't have any specific route that I'm trying to follow. I'm just I'm just gonna start going wherever the island wants to take me. And we got some uh, museum posters here on display with some fossils. Can I get around this? No, but that's okay. All right. The people who can fill out the form so fast apparently gain their dexterity from island designing. <laughs> uh, really nice use of the pergola here. I like these boards that you put underneath it. It kind of makes it feel like its own little separate building. I like the diagonal paths with the, uh, I'm guessing, kind of like lavender fields, which is really cool. Let's see. Seth, oh my gosh. Seth just donated in a currency that I'm not too familiar with. Let me... It's 30, but I don't know. It won't... T I said USD in my thing, but now it's not. There's no exchange rate. So I didn't really think that through, did I? Um, that seems close enough to me. I might have to do a shirt once we get back for Seth. Even though, Seth, you already have a shirt, too. I might have to make you a second shirt. I am only doing one shirt per person tonight, just so you know, but I didn't get stuff a shirt tonight. Can you come to mine too, says Mary. I would like to. I have to pick it randomly, though, so make sure when you submit your island, you do so on the form below in the description, and it could randomly get picked. It's at least 25 is Swiss. Well, I will get to uh, your design when we get back. Thank you so much, Seth. Appreciate you. Uh, I see a lost item on this cliff. I'm guessing it's probably been there a while, which means it's no longer lost. It's just a, a mystery item. Uh, I always call that a stolen item because the person who uh, lost it is never going to get it back, and you get to use it as a decoration on your island. We got an anonymous donation. Thank you so much. Look at this rock garden. I love this. I love the butterflies Going around it in a sequence. That's really, really clever. Uh, beaches have been decorated as well. A little strawberry field there. That's really clever. I love these boards. Everyone's got like a little area next to their house with that. I know. I could also use some terraforming skills. This place. I love this island. So... How does it look now that the snow has melted? Or did you time travel in such a way where it can't melt? Because today the snow melted on our islands, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, and uh, yeah, it was jarring. I, I turned on the game, I'm like, oh, I guess that was today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, oh, it's so nice. I, I don't know what this island would look like uh, with green grass. This bridge? With these little lanterns. Super clever. Super, super nice looking. We got... We, we always find one of these, don't we? Like, I feel like every stream we have at least one area that's, like, selling honey. And we got some paths going up to this house here. Oh, I like this a lot. My island looks so nice without the snow. It's so refreshing, says maybe. Yeah, that's... Uh, I, I do... I do like it when there's not snow everywhere. I, I like the snow, too. I think it's fun, but it just it lasts so long. <laughs> oh, wow. 
I like this log bridge here going back to, I assume, the secret beach. Yes. But what's interesting about your secret beach is there's no way down. So are you just are you just that done with red? Like, uh, you're over it, right? Like, there's no more art dealing for you. You sit up here, and you just kind of sit on this bench, and when red pulls up, you just shout obscenities at him until he, he you know, leaves. Like, pick your anchor up, get the heck out of here, no one wants your crap, Red. I guess with 2.0, that's okay because you can always go tuck your tail and visit Harv's Island and apologize and then buy some art that way. Um, but yeah, this is very bold of you to block yourself, uh, to block all temptation for getting art from Red. Um, it's it's smart. I you know I I envy I envy this because I just can't resist when Red pulls up getting scammed. <laughs> Neptune, thank you so much for your donation. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I got to do one thing in the background here because I forgot to do this. I just realized my stream deck wasn't set up properly. And now, and I think I just accidentally opened a different program. So that could mess things up too. <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, yeah, he does appear on Harv's now. So red is, uh, you, you can, if you want to, you can block off your secret beach. Ooh, is this a hobbit hole? This is super cool. Look at that sign, too. I love that texture. Hold on. Huh. Yeah, I've been buying a lot of fake art from Red. I actually kind of like it. I like using it. I love how this is textured like the sign. That's super cool. Oh, there's so much detail to this island. Look at the flags. Oh my gosh. You must have so many flags. Cuz you have to get you have to have one for every flower to do something like this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I saw the cannon too. That was <laughs> Lodge. Wait a minute. This isn't a house. This is like a public Oh, you guys know how I feel about that. I don't always go into houses on dream tours because, you know, there's a loading screen between every single room. But when you have a house that is like a business, you know, then that's part of the, the, the lore of the island. We need to go in. We need to check this lodge out. Oh, wow. Ooh, this is really cool. Okay. So, I love the villager photos up there. Um, it almost makes it seem like these are like... Uh, regulars that, that kind of visit every year, right? Uh, let's see. We have a whole coffee bar area. This lobby is amazing. We got more photos up there. Oh, this is so cool. Let's pop over here. Can you please go into Nick's house? Which one's Nick? Hold on. Let me look at the map. Oh, I'm in Nick's house. Okay, cool. That's the lodge. Gotcha. Oh, wow. I love the uh, <laughs> the the restroom you've set up here. I guess this is... Is this the sauna because of this thing? This is interesting. So you have these stalls that, uh, you know, you've like one open and one closed. I was going to say, people can't get in here. So it's good that you opened one. I was gonna have to. I was gonna have to say a whole bunch of stuff, but you, you know, you got people covered. It's okay. We got another anonymous donation for twenty dollars. Thank you so much. Wow, we've already raised seventy nine dollars. We haven't even like started the stream yet. Thank you, everybody. Uh, once again, we are raising money for children and families affected by the crisis in Ukraine. So thank you so much. Uh, you guys are all very awesome, very generous. This kitchen. Is this a kitchen? I think this is more of a dining room. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that there's a more like uh commercial style kitchen in this lodge because it's more of a public building. So this is where this is where folks would come to dine. And this is so cool. I actually really, really like this idea, and I might need to mimic this because 
in my house on my other island, I've started to kind of tear apart my kitchen. And I like this idea of a room dedicated to eating and maybe putting the actual kitchen where the cooking gets done somewhere else. That's really, really smart. Don't drop your cell phone in the bathroom in the middle area. <laughs> right. There was a big grate in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Ploop. Oh, man. Of course, Seth. I'm, that's the least I could do. Okay, here's the kitchen. So this is the more commercial style kitchen I was talking about. That's awesome. I love this. I love how rustic it is too. You really went for it. I've been, I need to take a picture of this because on my gold core island, I've been trying to figure out how would I do a more rustic kind of kitchen. And I, I'm going to use this for inspiration because this is really, really smart. I like the that you included the brick oven. And then this, of course, the, the rustic, more rustic like cooking station. Um, but yeah, the folding tables were a nice touch. That was smart. Um, I need to, I need to get like more of the, there we go. Michelle, thank you for donating. Appreciate that. What painting is that? I think I missed it. Was there a painting somewhere? Is it this one? Uh, because this is a fake painting. Uh, usually there's another guy in the background with, with the dogs. Um, but I can't remember what that's called. How often do I check my email? Um, not much. I'm not good with email. And also the, the email address is more for uh, business contacts, which makes it really bad that I'm not, I'm not good at checking it. Uh, but yeah, if, uh, if you're trying to reach me, a better way to do that is Discord. Twilight Skill, I appreciate you. Thank you. Ooh, okay. So we have... This is, oh, I like this a lot. Okay, so what we're looking at, we are in a lodge, and so there's separate bedrooms for the people staying here, and I love the way you've decided to do this. So you have the walls blocking it, and then you've got these double doors. You've closed this one off, but they're the same room, just kind of mirrored, uh, except this one's a crib. That's cool. So this one's for more of a family. Uh, I love this. I love how you separated this. I tried to do something like this in a happy home design I was doing, and I utterly failed. I gave up on it because I just didn't like the way the rooms were divided. But this, you you made really, really, really good use of the space. I like this a lot. I love this house. This is so cool. Just submitted again. I updated my island. Awesome, Sean. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for submitting. Thank you for being here. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a chapel in your lodge. That is so cool. Wow. Nicely done. You got everything. You you managed to use, I think, like every major item from the, the set there. Oh, it works so well. That's so cool. I, n I don't see this wedding furniture often used for wedding venues. <laughs> I have. I'm not saying I've never seen it. It's just usually people, uh, I'm included in this, just kind of pick and choose the different items to use in different parts of different builds. <laughs> Another anonymous donation. Thank you, everybody. Okay, we saw the lodge. Let's continue touring the island. It's so cool. All right. I like this little viewing area. This is nice. So a uh, little forced perspective there. It looks like a whole little village with cars and stuff. You got the lighthouse looming over everybody. Someone's been doing some laundry down there. A lot of weeds, too. Interesting. Ooh. Wait. Is... Okay. This is a coffee place, like a Starbucks, and every stump is a chi... Wow. Hold on. Did you customize the inside of this villager's house to be a star... Okay, I gotta check. 
if you customized this villager's house to be a Starbucks, Sammy, oh my gosh, thank you for the donation. Oh my freak, oh my gosh, you did. You made a cafe out of somebody's... Okay, I'm impressed. I am. Couple of couple of things. One, um, B works from home, which is a, a pro of this arrangement, okay? Um, but two, B has nowhere to sleep. Maybe, maybe on the counter here, but that's a little messed up. I mean, you're, you're, you're just kind of like forcing B into this life. Like this is almost like a, a coffee prison more, more, more than like a coffee cafe that people can like come and, you know, they, they want to, they want to support the business. Right. So, so B's just trying to get some work done and then people are just barging in and ordering coffee or maybe B just wants to watch some TV on her laptop. Nope. Time to serve people. It's open. As long as B's home, it's open. Oh. This is B's default house design? Excuse me? What? I'm looking this up. You're all lying to me. I'm looking this up right now. This is not. It's... No, it kind of is. It's... This is B's default house, except for the fact that a lot of the items are missing. <laughs> so, something's off here. I was about to go on a whole thing, but I guess I'm wrong. B chose this life. B moved a cafe onto your island. And uh, that's, hey, that's really cool. Um, crap, it ruined my whole bit. <laughs> well, I love what you did with the outside. I like the expansion. I I thought you were putting villagers to work. In the end I was going to I was going to, you know, say good for you. I like that's they should get to work. Most of these villagers don't have jobs. So that is kind of nice that B would like come here and like you know, contribute to the economy. She opened her own small business. I can't get down here, but like the the laundry stuff going on, on the beach is really interesting to me. And I wanted to go like walk through it, and that's just not happening. So yeah, it looks like I'll be making a shirt for Sammy, who's given fifty dollars to the cause. Thank you so much, Sammy. I am going to after this island. I have a couple shirts to make, and uh, don't worry, they will be as horrible as I've as I've promised. They're gonna be they're gonna be bad. Um. Yes, that's that's pretty much a guarantee. Look at look at how much work has gone into the pathing on this island. You must have ordered like a hundred of these lanterns because they're everywhere. And then, wow, look at this. This is an interesting take on like having a, a little uh, river dock. We've seen a lot of these. Uh, I've never seen somebody create a landmass and just have a bridge going out to it in the middle of a, a lake or a pond, whatever you want to call it. That's really smart. It's really cool. I guess the only thing about it is um, because of all the furniture, you can't actually fish off of this. You have to fish back here. So if I wanted to catch that one over there, that'd be really... I, you might be able to cast over this stuff, but it'd be kind of tough. But uh, I still like it. It's worth it. Yeah, I like these paths a lot. Do we go up here already? This is Able Sisters. I don't think we did. But I think we might be close to resident services. Uh, we got Nook's Cranny down here. A little market outside. Oh, we finally made it to this beach, too. There's a whole area I was going to go, but now I'm distracted. Ooh, I like the I like the candlelight um, romantic seating out on the dock. And then over here, hello Vanessa, over here, we have, oh, an outdoor movie theater. That's really nice. We got some flower storage, but not a lot, a modest amount. And then here is that laundry we were seeing, hanging out on the beach. I So I guess this is where everyone's staying at the lodge, this is where they get their, uh, 
laundry done. I like how you've taken a, a a bag of flowers and kind of turned it around to make it look like something else. Like maybe it's the uh, starch or like detergent or something. Oh, this is so nice. How's the news playing on that giant screen? But we don't we don't ask questions. <laughs> we just we don't try to logic the Animal Crossing. We just kind of let things, you know. Oh, there's a projector. Look, see. Now, in reality, you don't need the projector, but there is there is a projector in that case. Which I you know, if I put up one of those, I think I would have to have one of those too, a projector, because it just creeps me out that a, a flimsy little vinyl screen just has picture and sound. Okay, so I wanted to go back up to where Abel Sisters was, because I think we missed an area. We were up here, right? Yeah. Wasn't there... Oh. Oh, I think we were going to keep going this way? No, we, we, we already made the full loop. Kennedy's Wolf Pack, how's it going? Welcome. Thanks for being here. Let's pop down. Ooh. Wait, did we? Yeah, we saw this before. Well, this island has been lovely. I've really, and really, I've really enjoyed touring it. It was the first island of the night. Thank you so much for submitting. I'm going to wake up now. We have, we have two shirts. We got to get to work. No, that's three shirts. I think everyone was saying hello to Vanessa, but Vanessa, you actually donated. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Another $50 donation. Okay, so that's three. We have three horrific shirts, terrible shirts that we're going to put together right now. Similar to the one I'm wearing now. Uh, they're just going to be, you know what? You're going to be proud to download this so you can immediately delete it. Um, that's that's what I think. Let me let me go ahead and put this on. There we go. I'll, I'll look professional while I do this. And our first shirt is... Is going to go to Seth. Now, Seth Z, this was Seth's original shirt right here. And I, w can I wish I can, I, can I make it bigger? What if I, okay. We need another room. Oh my gosh. Are you, Butch is back? I'm trying to work here. Let's, let's kick Butch out so we stop getting interrupted for the whole stream. I'm not kidding when I say Butch is like out of here. I'm done. Like, Butch and I are no, no longer on speaking terms. I'm just done with this guy. Frogo Fragment, how's it going? I've been wearing and displaying the other one since you made it. <laughs> oh, no. Bye, Butch. Yeah, I'm going somewhere. I got stuff to do. Psych! Idiot. I'm staying right here. What a dummy. Okay, we got rid of Butch. Maybe what we should do, maybe we'll go upstairs because that room is still under construction. And then we can display all of our shirts. Oh my gosh, is that another? <gasps> Celestian Knight, $25 to UNICEF. Thank you so much. Oh man, I cannot believe we're almost halfway to the goal. We've barely gotten started tonight. Uh, all right, so I was just going to show you real quick Seth's original design, which was this. Um, uh, mannequin. So I think this is a good design, right? Like this is pretty good. It's, it's almost exactly like Seth's icon. That's what I went for. Um, and I think what I want to do is pay homage to the original masterpiece, but we just got out of winter and you were able to wear this all summer. And, I, and now you'll be able to wear this and, and you won't, you won't be cold cause it's spring, but I think we need a sweater now. Uh, so that when it gets cold again, you have something to wear that's that's not as chilly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to to uh, dedicate this design to Seth. And it's going to be actually a hoodie. I haven't done a hoodie before. So let's start simple here with the sleeves. We're going to make them gray like we did on the other one. And I think I sh should I use the I probably use this one. There we go. And then we'll pop over to this sleeve. There we go. Um, and let's go to the front and then the back. There. Okay. 
So this is already very similar to the one we've done. And what we need to do is draw that crazy looking dragon thing. Uh, so I think what I did is I did the same gray we did for the sleeves for the body. And why don't we get the shape tool for this? Um, and, and let's say the body is like this and we'll get it like nice and centered right there. See, so this one might look a little bit better. I think it already looks better than the original. Um, and that's, that was a risk. That was always a risk. And then we got to give it those cool looking wings. So that's going to be like one of the wings is like down here. It almost touches the bottom. And then, oops. Well, I messed up real bad here. Let me try again. Okay. So the wing goes all the way down to here and then it comes up and then I'll, well, maybe I'll like make it something like that. Okay. And we'll fill it in. There we go. Perfect. And then I think one of the wings comes like up over its over its head a little bit. Uh, so that would be like it like comes up here and then it goes back down and then it comes back around. Um, perfect. Okay. Excellent. And now we gotta we gotta bring it to life a little bit. So let's give it um, you know, a couple of eyes and then a Big cheeky smile. That's terrible. Try again. Big cheeky smile. There we go. Perfect. Um, I think we're done. So we're, we're going to call this one Seth Z 2.0. There it is. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I th I think so too. I hope you enjoy your sweater. I'm going to upload these afterwards. Um okay, so we have another one here. Sammy Sammy gave a $50 donation uh to UNICEF. So we're going to make you a t-shirt. Um now what are we going to do? Cuz I think I think I can see your profile picture. It looks like a picture of you. I think what we'll do for this one is I just need to imagine what one of your hobbies might be. Um, I'm going to say you skateboard. And I'm only saying that because I can't think of a hobby. Because I don't have a lot of hobbies. And that's on me. That's not on you. Um, but it does... It is of consequence to you because I just have to like make this up. So let's give it some cool sleeves. I'm going to make the sleeves blue. Yes. Um, and then blue. And then we're going to draw you a sweet skateboard. All right, here we go. This is my my take on what a skateboard looks like. Are you ready? Um, we're going to we're going to make this Look, I, I know you're all laughing, but we're professionals here, okay? Um, so you have the deck, right? So that's like where you stand. If you know how skateboards work, there's like a spot you stand on. But then skateboards kind of do this thing where they curve up like this. For anyone who hasn't seen a skateboard before. Uh, keep editing. I'm not done. Um, but it kind of I kind of took it at a weird angle. So let's actually... Ooh, you know what? Actually, that's kind of nice. Uh, let's see. We'll make it like that maybe i'll even yeah we'll make it why not we have the room let's make it a little bit thicker right uh okay that's looking pretty good and then we need to give it skateboards have something called bearings right so that's where like the wheels go so like we'll we'll give it a couple little pegs that represent like what the wheels get slapped on and then using the circle tool the, the circle stamp tool we can make perfectly round wheels um like this. Ah, yes. Uh, so we could put one here and we could put one here. Okay. And uh, then we got to draw you skateboarding on top of it. So we'll uh, use the circle tool for your head, which um, hopefully centers up okay. Uh, something like that. And then we need to draw the rest of you. Wait, keep editing. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Uh, so this is. You, you look like you're enjoying yourself. And then we'll come down here, put you on the skateboard. It's a little bit 
oversized. I might, I might not have gotten the proportions of this correct, but don't worry. We're just going to call that good. And we got an anonymous donation for $50 for $50. Thank you so much. Um, and then I gotta, I gotta bring you to life a little bit. Gotta give you some eyes. Um, I'm going to put one of your eyes. I made the head too small. The eyes are going to bunch up against the, the face here. Let's make, we need to give you a bigger head. Let's, this looks bad. Now it looks like he's, what happened to this poor, poor stick figure? Okay. Don't worry. I will, I will carve a face out of this. Okay. It was more of a perfect circle before, but I think it's okay. Now it just looks like you're facing a, a certain direction. That's good. And then what's great about that is we only need one eye now. So it looks so we can just commit to facing um you know, that way. This is perfect. Okay, cool. So this is this is uh Sammy's new shirt. All right, and we'll name it after you. Sammy, was it was it just Sammy? I think I always like in my head shorten everyone's name. No, it's literally just Sammy. Okay, perfect. There you go. I think I got the sleeves to be different colors too. That uh you know when like they print Pokemon cards and stuff and then there's a misprint and the misprint becomes really rare and valuable? That's what happened with your sleeves. One is a darker blue than the other. You're welcome. That that is worth a lot more now. Okay, and we had another one from for Vanessa. Uh and then we had one there's a $25 one and it's not telling me from who. Although what's weird is I can put you in timeout, go to your channel, do all these things, but it doesn't tell me your name. <laughs> Let me go to the channel, which doesn't exist. Oh, darn it. Oh, it's Celestia Knight. Okay, it's it's just an avatar, Celestia Knight. I'm sorry. Okay, well, we got, we'll make one for you too. Um, I know exactly what I'm going to do for you, uh, but we got to get Vanessa's done next. So here we go. Um, oh, boy. So Vanessa, I'm going to make you a T-shirt and here's what's going down. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and pick this tool here, fill it all back in. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we need to pick a color for the sleeves. So your sleeves are going to be purple because I like purple. But they're going to be the same color, so, yeah, sorry, no misprints here today. And then, um, what what hobby? Oh, what do we do for Vanessa here? You need a hobby. Okay, let me think about this for a second. Mm. Purple's your favorite color. Okay, I know your hobby. Perfect. All right, first we need to draw you. Um, so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the canvas a little more room to breathe here. We're going to... Er, I guess the opposite of that, because I'm actually going to take up more of the canvas. So there's your head. Um, let's see. we got to give you some eyes, bring you to life a little bit. So put an eye here and an eye here. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe you're smiling. That just looks like a goatee. We'll just, we'll go without the mouth. Uh, I think the eyes are good. And I'm going to, since purple is your favorite color, I'm going to give you purple hair. Um... Something like this. I think we'll do a couple more strands here. Okay, so there's some there's some purple hair. And then we gotta draw the rest of you. So uh let's see. There we go. Alright, we gotta give you nice long arms because I need to put something in your hand and I can't wow, these arms could not have been worse spots. Come on, arms. Um I'm gonna just hold your hand out like that. There we go. And then the rest of you. Okay, so that's you. And then your you said your favorite hobby is or you said your favorite color is purple. So your favorite hobby, obviously, is painting. And you are currently holding a purple paintbrush. There we go. Um this looks dreadful. All right. 
we'll put your name on it. We're gonna we're gonna dub the shirt Vanessa H B I C, and I don't want to spell it wrong. Oops, I'm already spelling it wrong. I said I wouldn't, or I didn't want to. This is a scarily accurate representation of me. <laughs> Flattery will get you everything on this channel. All right, there it is. And then we had Celestian Knight with a $25 donation. And I know exactly what we're doing for this one. Okay, so it's going to be a t-shirt. And here's what we're going to do. We already know Celestian Knight's favorite hobby. It's it's pretty it's pretty straightforward when they're your moderators. All right. So first things first, we got to pick a color for the sleeves. Uh, that's gonna be this weird skin color. There we go. Um, and then we're gonna use the rectangle tool. We're gonna use brown. Well, uh, we're going to use gray. And I think what we need to do is start here. Okay. So we're going to make a nice big rectangle. And then we're going to take this brown here and we're going to we're going to do something like that. And then we're going to do this. There we go. We need to fill in the middle. And then we need to, so no one's confused, label it. Okay. Ah, I want this to be good. Okay. This, uh, this, this A is going to be a little too wide. I'll, there we go. I'll narrow it up. There we go. I think doing pixel art ends is one of the hardest letters, uh, but we'll see if we can make it work. Actually, that works. And we got room for uh, punctuation. There we go. There we go. Celestia Knight, <laughs> enjoy your Banhammer shirt. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to name this one The Hammer. I think I think this one's gonna be is if that's okay with you. I think this one's gonna be pretty universal. I think people are gonna want to wear the hammer around. They're gonna want to pretend that they're you. So hopefully, hopefully, you don't mind me taking a creative liberty there with your with your shirt. All right, that is Celestia Knight's shirt. Thank you for the donation, um, and thank you to everybody. I see there's another anonymous fifty dollar donation. Uh, we have. Uh, let's see. Who's that? I wish your names were on these. I want to shout out your names. Someone has a really adorable profile picture of a cat. Oh, it's a uh, Coco cat. And it was $20. Thank you for that. Um, and then we have a $5 donation and then a $50 donation. Again, I think Bomba, that might've been you. Cause it's just the letter B. I'm not sure. I'm so sorry that it's, oh, it's bright little star $50 from bright little star. So that, okay, there's an actual name attached to that one. So I, I'm going to actually need to make a shirt there. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, shoot. <laughs> now, now I got to think of, wait, well, it's the it's in the name. It's in the name. I don't have to think that hard. It's a bright little star. So we're going to do yellow sleeves. Um, okay, there we go. And then we're going to do... A star, right? That's that's all I have to do. I think all I'm obligated to do is a star. So, yeah. it's And it needs to be bright. We can do this. I think we can handle this. Okay. All I need to do is draw a star. Now, I could use the star stamp. And that would be the logical thing to do, right? That you would, you would assume I would just make it easy on myself and use the star stamp. But to me, that feels like cheating. So I'm going to go ahead and hand draw the star. And I think it'll be more authentic that way. A hand drawn star. And I, I know exactly how to draw a star. It's easy. You, you start by making a line this way. 
Okay, that didn't work. Let me try that again. This yellow is terrible. How are you even supposed to see it? Here, let's let's make the shirt a different color so we can actually like maybe we we'll make it um we'll make it like an off white here. Let me go into I love that we can do this now. Let me just turn down the vividness of this. There we go. Just a little light gray. How's that? Come on. That didn't work. <laughs> What's it doing? Okay, perfect. Okay, star. We can draw this. This is going to be easy. So we go this way. Okay. Oh my gosh. And then we go this way. Okay, and then you go up like this. And then you go through the top. And then you draw down here. That What is that? That's not a star. All right, we're going to roll with it, but it's not a star anymore. Um, what this actually is now is a person wearing a dress. Uh, you can you can see it. Uh, all I need to do is um, uh, make their head like this, and it's going to be a little scrunched up under the collar, but that's okay. All right, there's that, and we got to give them some arms. They're going to be sticking out the sides of the dress like, help, I'm stuck in this dress. There we go, and then and then maybe maybe what we do to make it easy on ourselves is we finish we finish the dress by like just doing this. Okay. Um there's a big open part here, so let's just fill that in like that. Perfect. And then we'll just start dumping yellow all over the place like that. There we go. This actually doesn't look half bad. Bringsbane, thank you for the donation. Oh my gosh, we're getting so many donations. We've already raised more than half our goal. Thank you, everybody. Uh, and yeah, oh, we got to give you eyes, right? We got to bring you to life a little bit here. Um, all right, I'm going to put an eye over uh, here and an eye over here. There we go. Um, and then bright, right? Like you, you've bright in your name, so we should do something to signify that the dress is bright. So maybe... The reason it is bright is because it is on fire. Um, you went to try and throw this away, and it, uh, you know, things went wrong, and, you know, it is on fire. So that's the that is the bright part of bright little star. There we go. And uh, nobody, I see people snickering. It's not because of a fart. It's because. They don't like the dress, and they were trying to set it on fire, okay? This has nothing to do with flatulence. I don't want anyone to think that, okay? Everyone be real mature. All right. Perfect. I'm glad we settled that. Now, I don't know how to how they spell their name. Um, so I'm just going to take my best guess, because I know it's Bright Little Star, but I don't know. Is that even how you... Now I'm, like, questioning everything. Oh, there it is. Hey, be nice to me. What? That I I made you a whole shirt. What do you mean? I don't understand. Okay, but thanks for typing. So now I can see how you spell your name. There we go. All right. Enjoy your glorious shirt. Perfect. I think we're all caught up on commissions now. Uh, I, I think we've clothed a lot of people, and uh, now we can put our our shirts of the evening on display. That one was not from today. Uh, let's see. I hope this doesn't take long to put on display. You're very welcome. Thank you for donating. So, Sefzi 2.0 we'll put here. Um, actually, let's see how many it just lets me put right here. Uh, display as a mannequin. Display mannequin. Oh, perfect. Okay, I can just stand here and I'll do three. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, oh, I forgot hair. That's okay. <laughs> I think the fire took care of that. <laughs> perfect. Look at this stuff. Seeing these in person makes me even more excited for all of you who get to, once the stream's over, download these shirts. I love them. AC Mystery, how's it going? How to donate? I think the link should be underneath the chat. I guess it depends on the device you're watching, uh, but there should be a link. YouTube kind of handles all of it. Uh, near near the chat, under the chat, and uh, 
there's also pinned to the chat, at least on my screen, there's a donate button as well. All right. Uh, it's tw uh, $25 USD. So if you did a donation that amounted to $25, and I say USD, but of course the, the exchange rate is like very confusing. Um, I'll do a shirt. See, like, oh, I just realized that someone gave, I think it was another one of our moderators, Bringsbane, you did 20, but I think that's Canadian dollars. Was, was that, do I owe you a shirt? <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'll just have to pull up an exchange rate calculator. 63 island submissions. We've only toured one so far. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, first of all, random number picker wants us to go to island number 54. So if you've submitted kind of recently, your island is probably next. And then uh, currency exchange. There we go. Uh, and I'll just have that up on another tab. It's under. Okay, thank you, Bringsman. And Elise, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. When we get back, we're going to do... Uh, we're going to do your shirt next. Thank you so much for your donation. These are very, everyone's being like so generous. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to search by dream address. We have our dream address pulled up. Again, you can submit on the form below and then it could get randomly picked like this island did just now. Uh, it's 9363 Oops, 9. Billy Bob Joe, thank you so much for $25. Oh my gosh. Starfall, we're going to Starfall. And the YouTube username is Annie. So Annie, we're checking out your island. Thank you for submitting. All right. I'm going to start writing down some names here. Elise K. My shirt. Yes. Uh, for, for any donation over $25, I'm drawing horrible, horrible shirts. So I'm drawing yours next. So sorry that you didn't know that. Um, you're not going to like it. I'll tell you that right now, but, uh, you know, chat might like it. And then Billy Bob Joe, I wrote down your names this time so I can actually like come back and not have to hunt everybody down because <laughs> YouTube for some reason does not put your names on the donations. And Rebecca, thank you so much for your donation. Oh my gosh. We're about to hit our goal. That's, that's very quick. We just started streaming, not even like a half hour. Well, no, almost an hour ago. I, I thought we started at 7.30. We didn't. Okay. I love the flag already. This is really cool. Let's let's check out the map. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's uh, see. We have Eric, Fang. That is Eric, right? Okay. Eric, Fang, Sasha, Shino, Diana, Molly, uh, Margie, Norma, Teddy, and Lopez. Nice interesting uh, um, collection of villagers here. A lot of villagers that are highly, highly coveted. And then Norma. So there you go. Um, oh, there's Norma now. Oh no, you got... Okay, I was going to say there wasn't a lot of paths. There's a lot of paths. Oh, oh my. Oh my word. This is really nice. I, ooh, another orange airport. So look at all this. Look at all the custom paths. Look at the diagonal paths. This is just a taste of what we're going to see, I think. Uh, and again, another incredibly detailed island. Let's, um, in terms of paths, actually, you know, it's interesting. Not a ton of furniture, but that's not that I'm complaining. This is really cool. Her name is Shino? Oh, is, th is, that, is that accurate? I always thought it was Shino. Oh. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Look at this. I love this record stand. This is really clever. And you've got like a little attendant here sampling the wares. 
I like, I, I don't even know if I have one of these. I like these. I don't know what they're called, but I like them. Bright Little Star with another donation. Thank you so much. I don't know if that was in protest to your uh, other design. I did I did say that I I'm, I was only doing one per uh, person. <laughs> but I feel like you're trying to get yourself a better one, which I don't blame you cuz your your shirt came out really really bad. Uh, <laughs> so we might have to do it. <laughs> Look at this. I love this little area you've made with the walls here. It's a nice little dessert bar. And we got Able Sisters. Oh, wow. We got this whole bakery. I love this. I'm just like, I'm at a loss for words because I'm trying to take in all the different customizations, all the different designs. I just noticed that it's not just a bakery. It's like a, it's a truck or a bus or something. You know, it's, it's, it's never just one thing. You got to pay attention. That is so cool. And Alex, oh, Alex, you just pushed us over our $500 goal. Thank you so much. $500, $512 raised um, for the people of Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so cool. Of course, you can always keep going after the donation goal is reached. So, uh, you know, don't be shy about that. But uh, Alex, thank you so much. I found your flower storage. You couldn't hide it from me. Uh, you tried, but I found it, and now I'm going to run through it a little bit. So, good luck with that. It looks like this island is still under construction, and there's nothing wrong with that. We will, uh, we'll head over here, and we'll see. Ooh, oh my gosh, they got a whole castle. Yup, that is awesome. You've created a whole castle for yourself. And I'm guessing you're making yourself with the pergola and everything like a courtyard. It looks like you're planting a farm over here. Eric is getting ready to tend to some crops. You have a five-star island, I'm assuming, because you got a bunch of lily of the valley growing. We might need to check out their house. Let me make sure I have permission. Uh, my island isn't finished, but you're welcome to tour it. And I am allowed to tour the house. Fantastic. Okay, let's do that. And then there's a little more island to see. Hello, Sophie. Yes, thank you, everybody. Awesome work indeed. So cool. Goal reach, time to move the goalposts. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't... Uh, I have to go back in. So maybe... It, I, have this, I, had, I had that goal set. I'm going to try and edit it tomorrow for tomorrow's stream um otherwise it'll just be there for tomorrow um and we'll we'll just we'll just say we want to raise a thousand instead of me raising it to that <laughs> hopefully it lets me edit the goal though drum has it going so this house looks really awesome i like this counter here they got some they got some photography stuff it looks like looks like they're about to head out and take some photos <laughs> they got their puppy Sitting there, loving the fact that there's visitors. I mean, except your tail's not wagging. There we go. <laughs> More money. <laughs> I wonder who puts no touring the house. What secrets are they hiding? <laughs> Whoa. First of all, I didn't know the bathtub had this design. Um, that looks awesome. I think this is the glowing moss wall, or one of the, it's definitely a glowing moss design. This room is amazing. That is super cool. How do you make so much space in their house? Uh, you just gotta pay off all your loans, and then your rooms, your your rooms get uh, well. Your main room gets really big, and then they add the other ones, which ne those never change in size. How do people get lost items as normal items? Uh, you, What you do is you don't return it. So you pick it up, and then it's, you know, oh, it's a lost item. And then you just keep it. 
and then I think about 24 or 48 hours, one or the other goes by, and then it's yours. <laughs> it's just like, what was this again? And then you could place it anywhere. So this is weird. We have a picture of Sasha uh, with with some kind of like, you know, some kind of something going on. We have a single light hanging over the photo. Uh, we have an incense burner, a chainsaw, and I'm guessing some creepy music. I don't know. My volume's down. It's kind of hard to hear, but some some creepy music. The creepiest wallpaper and floor you could find. If I'm not mistaken, Sasha's on this island too? Yes. I can't tell if Sasha's supposed to be leaving the island, like, I don't want them here, goodbye, or if this was to summon Sasha and it worked, then if that's the case, why is it still here? I'm going to assume you hate him. You want Sasha to leave. That's what I think the chainsaw signifies. And But you know what? It's not on. There we go. Now it is. I'm going to assume you want Sasha to leave. Um, and you know what? Now I want to leave. <laughs> Summoning? <laughs> they killed Sasha. I, well, Sasha's on the map, though. I don't know what to think. Yes, thank you for the anonymous donation. We got another one here from uh, Deanne. Thank you for the $20 donation. Look at this kitchen. This is amazing. Way less creepy than that last room. And we got some gyroids here. Cheering you on as you bake cakes. I like that you made a carrot cake, but then you also have a slice of the car of carrot cake on the table. That's cool. You think we'll just you know, it will stumble upon Sasha's body somewhere on the island? That's pretty dark. Someone likes carrot cake. It was a lot of carrot cake. Ooh. This is pretty too. Why are all these rooms the opposite of that weird Sasha room? Like, if if I were to have started the tour in that Sasha room, you would have you would have made really, really dark assumptions about the rest of this house, and you would have been wrong. About every single one of your assumptions. Let's see the basement and see if that holds up. It's clear the chainsaw was used to kill Sasha and the skull was the head. Oh my gosh. Everybody here is being so dark. Oh man. You have a whole band playing down here. Yeah, this is adorable too. I love that the gyroids are band members. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I love it. Yeah, that, it's just that last room. It's a creep show. All right, let's go. Let's keep touring. A wholesome basement. Every room except that back one. Every room is a pleasure to see. Except that last one. Or that one in the back. Look at this. Look at everyone's yards come together. This looks so nice. Look at this farm. We got another lavender farm. This is the second one we've seen today. Ah. Oh. And I think, what did I say? This is our second island? <laughs> so, we're, we're two for two. Did we already cross this bridge earlier? I think we did. Oh, no. This is, we're behind the museum now. This looks nice as well. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I like this a lot. I like how the river's running through here and it splits off like that. That is super cool. Destiny, thank you so much for your donation too. Oh my goodness. Let me let me take your name down. I have to make a shirt. Thank you so so much. Cross over here. 
Red Jelly Cat just joined. Welcome. Okay, we got uh, some more flower storage here, which I will make sure to run through a little bit. But then there's a whole bunch of stuff going on up top there behind the storage shed. Oh, we got a whole farm. Let's go back there. Tomatoes, carrots, pumpkins, everything. Ah, oh, that's such a cool... Uh, man, hey, let me see something. Okay, that's what I thought. So, I have the recipe for the turnip barrel, but I don't have the one that's, like, open. I have my, Mine's closed. So, I was like, wait, is this interactive? No, it's just a different one. Bethany and Kitten Army, thank you for your donations. Bringsbane reminded everybody to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, Bringsbane. Thanks to our moderators for hanging out today, helping out. Oh man, all these yards are so nice. Look, a skateboard. This is this is just like that skateboard shirt I made. Just like. This is so cool. Ah, I hope you share your island with, with us again once it's finished. If you're in the Discord, we have a Dream Island uh, channel in there. You can always share it there as well. Ah, I love all these little spots. Cannot wait to see the finished thing. Let's head off. There's Sasha. Sasha's fine, everybody. Look, he's fine. Everybody. Sasha's fine. Sasha's alive! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like how green it is, too. The summoning room worked. Okay. So we've seen two islands. But I have three different shirts on my list here that need to be done before we can go on to our next one. Uh, because of all of your very, very generous donations. Let me pop back upstairs where we've been amassing a whole bunch of incredible designs for folks watching the stream. A chatter summoning room. Whatever the opposite of that is, is what I'm going to do. So, here's everybody's shirt thus far. Uh, I think you see where this is going. We have more work to do. So, the first up was Elise K. And I'm going to make you a t-shirt. And let's see. Uh, we have some choices to make now. Uh, let's make the sleeves. Why not? We're already on red. We'll make the sleeves red. How's that? There we go. There's one. Oops. Uh, and there's two. Let's make the front of the shirt white. And the back of the shirt also white. Okay. What, what is a hobby that we can just say Elise does? Right? Something that they probably don't do. Maybe they have pet fish. How about that? So... I'm going to make you a fishbowl shirt. I'm going to be really I'm going to be really smart about it and I'm going to use the stamp because the last time I didn't use a stamp, I regretted it. So there we go. There's the fishbowl. Oh. It is okay. It's a bit it's a bit dirty. Um but that's okay. I can fix this. Um all we need to do is go back here. We need we need water in this fishbowl. Uh, so let's use the circle stamp and just, you know, carefully fill it with water. There we go. Kinda. What are you doing? I'm not done. No, stop. How do I go back? No, I'm not done. <sighs> Why? Why can't you go back when you accidentally hit that button? There's your shirt. I'm not done. Let me go back and edit the thing. What? What is this, Nintendo? Every other dialogue box in in this game asks you like ten times. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to sell that? Are you sure you want to dream on that island? Okay, just checking. And you know, if you hit the done button while you're doing a custom design, forget it. You are done. Like. No art for you. You are done. You can't do art anymore. 
Gosh dang. Ruthless. Okay. I'm trying to make a nice looking fishbowl here. All right. Something like this. It's it's not super consistent, but has anything I made been consistent with anything? And then we need to we need to kind of chop off the the top of it because right now it's a fish sphere and that's not really a thing. So I'm going to take the pen tool and we're just going to like lop off the top of this thing. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Perfect. Uh, then we need fish. Now, what's interesting uh, about the goldfish is that they call it a goldfish, but it's always like orange, right? Nah, well, it's kind of, I don't know. I, I always see goldfish that are always kind of orangish to me, so I'm going to use orange. Uh, so let's make a fish. Hmm. How do you make a fish? Let me, let me use the circle tool, but we're not going to make a circle. We're going to make an oval. Yeah. There we go. That's perfect. Okay. Hello, Seth. And then we're going to take the... No, we keep we keep editing. We keep working. I hit it again. Oh, my gosh. There's your shirt. <sighs> Come on, Nintendo. Why? Why are you doing this to me? All right. Oh, no. Someone's upset because the bowl is uneven. Oh, gosh. It's okay. I can fix that for you. Hold on. There we go. Thank you for pointing that out to me. I didn't realize. All right. So now we're going to give the fish a tail. All right. Something like this. And then we're going to we're going to go ahead and fill in its fish body. All right. Now I need to give it some eyes. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one way up here. There we go. And then we got to give it a big cheesy smile. Say cheese. There it is. Oh, no. One of the eyes got sucked into the mouth. Okay, we'll put this eye here. And then we'll... we'll there we go. There we go. All right. Um, now we got this big blank space over here since we evened out the fishbowl. Uh, so I'm going to... I'm going to give this fish a little umbrella just so it keeps the sun off of it. So umbrellas kind of look like this, I guess. Uh, we'll make it mm, make it red like the, the sleeves. There we go. Oh, and I should use the... Let's use the line tool. for We never, we never use the line tool. Okay. There. Now it has like a little umbrella. So the sun stays off of it. It's perfect. Now we're done. Okay, this is for Elise K, who who whose hobby is owning a fish. Did we get another donation? Oh my goodness! Yeah, twenty dollar anonymous donation, six hundred fifty one dollars raised. Thank you so much, everybody. I was not expecting to hit our goal that was supposed to last the whole weekend in like the first half of the stream. You're all amazing. And then Coco Cat with another fifty dollar donation. Oh my goodness! Were you on my list before, Coco Cat? You were not, but now you are. I know exactly what your shirt's gonna look like too, which is awesome. Give me one second to write this down. All right, a shirt for Coco Cat. Thank you so much for your very generous donations. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have another shirt to make. We spent a long time, so Billy Bob Joe, um, your shirt is next. And I don't remember what your profile picture looked like, but it, it's inspired me nonetheless. So I'm going to make your shirt in the image that I think that your profile image looks like. Um, I think your profile image is like a frog or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make the, in honor of frogs, I'm going to make the sleeves green. And I'm going to draw a frog for you on the front of this shirt. And it'll be easy. So um, maybe I'll use the same green. And then uh, we'll start with a circle. It's a Minecraft man. 
Well, now it's a frog. So we're gonna we're gonna do something like this. Um, okay, that's frog shaped, I guess. And frogs have these weird like eyes that stick out like over their heads. So I'll use the stamp tool, and we will we will put the frog's eyes like here and here. There we go. And then we need to give it a frog face. Um. Oh, you know what? Since it's a Minecraft frog or whatever you said, how about we do this instead? I have an idea. Um, because I like Minecraft. We're gonna we're gonna give the frog a creeper face. But I haven't played Minecraft in a while, so I'm gonna have to make up whatever a creeper face looks like. I think this is accurate. Uh, I I think creepers look like. I think I'm nailing this. I think they look. The creeper face looks a little like this, maybe. Something like that. That's not a creeper face. And then we'll take this bucket and we will give the the frog face the rest of its color. Um and then we got oh we got a thirty dollar donation from Chris D. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I'm not I don't think I think I'll split up these shirts a little bit. Cause it seems like we're gonna have a lot of them now. Chris, thank you so so much. Uh, okay, so we have we have what I said was a frog, but I'm getting some serious turtle vibes from this frog. Are you guys? I feel like we're all getting some turtle vibes. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move it up a little bit, and then I'm going to take our stamp tool again, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to give it some legs. Because now the eyes have become legs. And then we're going to give it... we got to move it again a little bit. Maybe down there. And then we got to give it a face. Um, so we'll do this. Um, and then I don't know what turtles' heads look like. Because they usually, they usually shrink back into their shells uh, once they see me. So I'm just going to go ahead and say turtles' heads look kind of like this. And we're going to give it some eyes. And then we're going to delete this one here so the eyes aren't so weird. Um, now we need more room. Okay, there we go. It's definitely a turtle. This is perfect. This is what turtles look like. Um, this is a, a creeper face turtle. Uh, and we made it for Billy Bob Joe. All right, Billy Bob Joe, I hope you enjoy your horrible, terrible shirt. There we go. My goodness, there's so many of you. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, next shirt on my list is Destiny. So... Let's, let's, we're going to need to uh, be creative here. We're going to need to give Destiny a hobby. Um, let's see. First, I need to prepare the shirt. Prepare the canvas for whatever's about to happen. Mm-hmm. Okay. What, what is it that, what, what is it that Destiny loves to do? Running. Let's just say Destiny goes out running like all the time. Because um, some people are weird like that and they like exercise. So I'm going to make um, I'm gonna make a really elaborate shirt. Okay, this is how it's going to work. So first and foremost, we need, um, we need like the path that you run on every day. So that's going to be this. All right. And we're going to use the paint bucket. We're just going to fill that in right there. But um, you are a rebel. So you actually run on the grass. They always tell you not to do that. You don't care. You play by nobody's rules but your own. So you run on the grass. And so we're just gonna like kind of like make this look a little bit natural like that. There we go. That's actually pretty solid grass. I like that. All right. And then we need to draw you running. Okay. That'll be easy. So all I gotta do is draw a person. So we'll make we'll draw your head. Okay, something like that. We got to draw the rest of you now. So, 
something like this. Let me draw the legs. Um, now you might be wondering why, what's with the angle of this particular individual? Well, um, here's the problem. This person was running and um, they, they tripped over an orange tabby. Mm -hmm. There was a little orange tabby taking a cat nap and um, we'll give that one a face too. Uh, there we go. And you tripped over a tabby. I am a, I am apologetic. I, I understand your plight. Um, I, I too have cats. Uh, and then, you know, your hair is kind of flying around because you're falling. You're, you're in mid-fall. Uh, really, really sorry about what's happened here. Um, oh, I never, I never made your sleeves their own individual color. How about orange in honor of the cat's face that you tripped over? Um, the cat's okay. The cat's fine. Just kind of, you know, got upset and walked away. Um, left you to, you know, figure out whatever you need to figure out now. Um, okay, great. I think this is perfect. Destiny, your, uh, your shirt is complete and will be uploaded promptly towards the end of this live stream. 808 dollars raised oh my goodness yes there's donations are coming in uh oh i don't know how to say that name tenuville I, I that was my best attempt thank you so much for your donation and then we just got 20 dollars from levi ghost whose shirt is actually right here we've made you a shirt in the past levi thank you so much you're gonna wash out your eyes oh that's rude you're not the one whose face got tripped over. <laughs> Finally got to work 120 total. Oh, you've been donating anonymously. <laughs> oh, man. Um, well, I feel bad. I'm going to add you to that list. Because um, we updated Seth's shirt earlier, and I'd actually like to update yours as well. Uh, but we're going to go and tour another Dream Island. Because it's been a while. Okay. You cross out these ones. There we go. And we got to get back to the dream stream. Now, for those of you just joining us, welcome. We've toured a total of two islands. But we've raised a bunch of money already. Well over our goal. Um, for the people of Ukraine, courtesy of, why is my, why is my screen doing that? One second. If you're wondering why I sound distracted, it's because everything's going wrong. <laughs> okay. I think I got it back. Anyway, we raised a bunch of money. Uh, thank you so much, everybody here. Let's go to the next dream address, uh, before I lose the, the tabs that have everybody's dream addresses on them. It looks like we have 71 of you who've submitted your islands. And it wants me to go to number four. So whoever submitted fourth, and you wouldn't know if that was you or not. Oh, but I think I know who this is. Okay, I'm I'm super excited. Oh, wait, Luna. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to click that. Okay, the dream address is 3739. One, two, nine, one, seven, zero, eight, zero. All right. We are going to Sammy's Island of Cascara. And uh, I believe this might be the same Sammy who we made a shirt for, which is why I was saying I was excited. Uh, they said that we should know their island is a small island monarchy. So this should be really interesting. Here we go. Anyone else get a random craving for chocolate? 
I'm sure a bunch of people have now. The RNG has blessed you. <laughs> I already love this flag. All right. Can you also start from the entrance? That's how I designed it. Uh, you should check out the house to the north shore if you want. Okay. Thank you. I do want to see this flag first, though. So we have, I'm guessing, the monarch themselves portrayed in this flag. And there's Lopez, Gonzo. Oh, everyone's in the corner. I see it. Uh, Diana, Tia, Murphy, Margie. Mar Margie, yep. Uh, Whitney, Lolly, Bo, and Apple. And let's see. So we saw that. So you wanted me to start at the entrance. I'm going to presume that's down here. This feels like an entrance, maybe. Oh, we're far. <gasps> Presence. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I love that ice cube lamp. A bendoid. Star fragments. Twinkling painting. What is going on? I can't use any of this. A vaulting pool. I can use that. All right. Vaulting pool. Star head. Yes. 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 Okay. Large star fragments. Large snowflakes. And 30 gold nuggets. Okay. I feel welcomed. I can't do a whole lot with this. Um, oh, I wanted to place this down, but I just remembered I can't do that either. But hey, I got a star hat. All right. I'm just like running on your beach real quick. That's clever. The reindeer pulling the pumpkin carriage. Uh, let's start. You said you designed it at the entrance. Let's, let's be respectful of that. So we just got on your island. We cross over this bridge. The flowers are kind of guiding us over here. And we get to, we have the aurora above. We have this moon right here. All the flowers kind of converge on that. And I guess we get to decide if we want to go over here. I am. I'm going to go over here. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Okay. Uh, photo op, right? Mushroom just joined us. Welcome. Oh, I was trying to... No, I didn't want that. I wanted... Okay. Uh, where do I take this photo from? I guess here. That's fine. This is amazing. You picked the perfect time of day and year to upload the stream address. Uh, I don't even know where to go next. I like these paths a lot. Let's see, we got a post office. You've even brought your mailboxes down here. You've committed to your post office. I like that. I like how the mail is going out on this little conveyor belt. There's more presents? Wait a minute, what? These are probably part of the, you know, post office. Uh, but I'm going to take them anyway. If I see a wrapped present on the ground, I'm going to assume it's mine. Call me a package thief. Call me what you will. A powder room booth. And a vintage dresser. Well, somebody is not getting their furniture that they ordered from uh, the Nookazon. Uh, let's see. Let's pop up here. We got this gorgeous tiered neighborhood starting. And then it looks like... A crafting area. We got a whole bunch of supplies. Look at all this. Oh my goodness. Wait, so can I use this? Ah, oh, I thought it would let me craft. That stinks. That would have been awesome. This is so nice, though. I love this neighborhood. I gotta, I gotta, uh, I gotta remember what you did with these paths because I like them. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do mine. Let's come up here. We got even more houses. Everyone's got their own stuff going on. Free customization kits, oh boy. Mm 
Yeah, this is really cool. What are you going to do when the snow melts, though? That's what I'm wondering. I'm guessing your campsite is nearby, because we got the tents, campfires. I can't get across, but maybe we'll find another way over there. Ah. Yes, I did it. Here's the campsite. A little overgrown. I'm guessing on purpose. The snow did melt, yes. But I guess that's what I meant. What do you do now that the snow is melted? Oh yeah, I have a vaulting pole, you're right. Ooh, I like this little path board you've put around the tree too. It looks like you have an orchard down here, but it's been picked clean. Yes, but will they time travel? Oh, was that something buried here? It was. Did you know about this? Did you know there's just something buried right here? It's blocked by all the tree coverage. Oh, it's their secret beach. Look at that. A little, little uh, <laughs> busted up gyroid. They got their cannon at the ready for red. Ugh. I'm lost. Okay. Pizzeria. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> we got a, a beachside pizzeria. Got an anonymous donation of five pounds. Thank you so much. Let's head down here. We got a little carnival. And the beach almost ended, and then it picked back up. And then it looks like these boats have just gotten back from a really long day of fishing, a successful day of fishing. And I like this little fish bait stall and everything else you got going on here. So a whole bunch of uh, fish being imported. Or maybe maybe this is getting ready for export. I don't know. I don't know things and stuff. I'm just going to assume that the business is fish and business is booming. So was this the house? I think you said something about a house on a shore. And I think there's only two houses. I saw one up in the hills already. So I'm going to assume you meant... Oh, I didn't see one up on the hills. So there's one... I wish I remember what you said. Maybe... Maybe I'll wait. Ray, thank you for the donation. Ooh. Ooh, look at this farm. The other house. Okay, gotcha. I'll go to the other house. This is huge. This is a ginormous farm. And you got a steam... Wait a minute. What? Wait. You know there's tractors, right? You don't have to steamroll the crops. This is very ineffective. I don't know if you know how steamrollers work. But when you... When you steamroll a tomato, it doesn't, like, go on a fun journey to, like, this basket in the back or anything. It just... It just smushes. That's it. That's what happens when you crush a tomato. You don't have a tractor. Well, this is not a solution, Sammy. This is this is devastating. You have a really good harvest here, and you're just like, you're about to roll it over. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's your farm. If, if that's what you want to do, it just looks like this was a lot of hard work to set up and you got a whole barn you got to pay for with solar power. That's not cheap. People usually end up paying that stuff off for years. And, you know, you're really taking this harvest for granted. It's very bountiful. And you're about to just literally steamroll it. That and your income. Gone. I I don't know. Maybe maybe you're cooking the books. Maybe, maybe it's an insurance thing. You run over all the crops and... Oh no, insurance company, my crops, they are run over. And then the insurance company is like, don't worry, this happens all the time. We got you. And you come out ahead that way. And you, it's fun because you get to steamroll some stuff. Who am I to judge? This is a fantastic farm though. This is really, really cool. I 
All right, let's pop over the bridge here. This was the house. So you said it was like a monarch. And there's the picture of, of uh, the monarch in the little... <laughs> I assume that's you in the uh, Tory up there. Okay, we got to check this place out. This place is cool. Carrot juice made the best way. You can't... That's the thing about carrot juice, too. You can't... You take a steamroller to a carrot, you're not going to get juice. You're just going to get pile of smushed carrot. I don't really understand carrot juice. You can, you can like, get juice out of a tomato, but a carrot? I don't care what kind of steamroller you have. I don't think that's a thing. I don't know. I don't know much about carrots. I don't eat a lot of carrots, so maybe I'm wrong. This is awesome. This throne room is incredible. I love these banners, both in the ceiling and then the custom designs as well. Oh, you've taken the gold core, like, <laughs> banner room, or not banner room, throne room, into a, to the next level. Why, why are your stone lion dogs in timeout, though? They do, you know, they do got that face, the, the sharp teeth. Maybe, maybe it's just like, I don't, I don't want to look at those all the time. And so you've kind of turned them away from you. But they look like they've, they've like peed on the carpet or something. And they're thinking about what they've done. That's just what it looks like. I'm just calling it as I seize it. Celestial night. We'll see you later. Ooh. Your own private art collection. I love this. Are these all... Oh, these might all be genuine. I think they are. Ooh. You've been... Yeah, you've been taking genuine works of art and keeping them for yourself. As all good monarchs do. Let's pop over here. Daily Horizons, we'll see you later. Okay, love the grand dining room. Uh, this is again like something I need to take note of because I have to set up something similar in my place. We got even more rare art, all of your plaques up there. Oh, this is so cool. Check the basement. Oh, we'll make it to the basement. I'm I'm going to assume dungeon. I'm going to be disappointed if it's not a dungeon. That's always a dungeon. If you have a castle, you make a dungeon. <gasps> treasure room. Oh my goodness. What a good idea. Why didn't I think of a treasure room? Oh, cuz I put my treasure scattered all over my island. That's why. I love how the crowns are in there. That's so funny. <laughs> Can I pick this money up? I cannot. That is awesome. I do want a dining room like that. I, I have a kitchen that I am working on, but it's just coming along really slowly because I've been trying to like wait until inspiration strikes. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that stage. That is so cool. It looks so good. <laughs> Front row seats, of course. And if we turn, the illusion is ruined. You never turn the camera. But it's okay. It looks really good straight on. Don't rotate the camera. All right. Let's go to the dungeon. We're assuming dungeon. It better be a dungeon. Annie, thank you so much. It's a dungeon. We knew it. We called it, didn't we? Oh, wow. There's... Okay. What's going on back there? Why is there run, water running? I guess there's a shower head into, going into a bucket. It looks like not a lot of people survive their stay. In this dungeon? Ugh. Um. 
Oh, and you've left like some staticky TV on for. Oh my gosh. I like how the majority of the space is not for them. <laughs> you've you've given <laughs> you've given your prisoners as little room as possible, and then like people who just come to check on them for a sec. I like how you have a tray of their food outside the bars too. That's especially sadistic. Like. Hey, you hungry? And then put it here. Like, you know, you got you got some tools in there. Maybe what you can do is take some tissues and like tie them into a little lasso and you can lasso, lasso yourself. Whatever this is. What is this stuff, by the way? Hold on. You know, I zoomed in and I honestly don't know what any of that is. Um, it might be because it's dark. I... I don't care how long I've been staying in a dungeon. I would never eat any of this. Whatever whatever that is, no thanks. And I'm going to assume a lot of folks have said no thanks. I think we can see that. Good grief. Yeah, I wouldn't serve that to prisoners either. Kit Crosser, thank you so much for your donation as well. Oh my goodness, we're about to hit like $900. We, oh yeah, we've almost doubled the goal. And that was the goal for the weekend. That is incredible. Thank you all so much. These beaches are awesome. So we're back at the entrance, but I think we we never got to see... No, we did see the neighborhood. Um, let me just take a really quick jog around the island to see if there's any parts of it. I really, I really don't want to miss anything. I always miss something. It's kind of tradition, though. That's how you know... Hey, Glitter Vomit. That's how you know it's, it's a Crossing Minute Island tour, when something really crucial and awesome was missed. So we saw this neighborhood. I think that means we're all the way back at the end. Yep. But what about... Oh, there's nooks. I don't think we saw anything over there. There's a stream during the weekend. Yes, I'm going to do another stream tomorrow. Probably around the same time as today started, which was 6.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, I'm almost certain we're going to be doing a uh, an island decorating stream. I'm going to continue working on the Gold Core Island. I think I'm going to skip the Pokemon stream this week. Um, cause I've just really, I've started playing on my other island again. Like I've just been all of the sudden I have this like animal crossing second wind and I just can't put it down. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. Look at this bakery. And I'm playing a lot of Mario Kart too. This is awesome. I love how you've used the display case. I like that these cookies have little smiley faces on them. Their eyes are, are a little in line with one another, which is not how I draw eyes, but that's okay. And you got some muffins. And if anyone tries to tell me these are plain cupcakes, you can just leave because there's no such thing as a plain cupcake. A plain cupcake is a muffin. It's It becomes a cupcake when you don frosting on the top of it. That's how, that's how cupcakes and muffins work. I just don't want to confuse anybody. But Animal Crossing has a recipe for plain cupcake. And I, I made sure it was on the community tab. I wrote Nintendo about this. You spelled muffin wrong. And uh, they haven't gotten back to me yet for some reason. But they will. I think they're just, they, get a lot of, they get a lot of angry YouTubers writing mean things about them and pinging them on the community tab. So I'm sure, I'm sure they'll get back to me soon. I love... All of this, the, the diving outfit, the diving ledge, everything. This is really cool. Such a cool island. We got another anonymous $20 donation. And I think I missed one from, no, I did not. Okay, I said, I remember saying Kit Crosser. I like how much you're decorating with all the food items. There's a lot. We got another slice of carrot cake. That's the second slice of carrot cake tonight. A little coffee bar right by the beach here. 
Oh, I just noticed the little shell pattern on the ground, too. Man, this is so cool. What a nice island. You only missed the museum part. Where's the museum? Why can't I see it? Oh, okay. So it was behind that castle. Shoot. Well, sort of behind. Okay, I know where it is. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I like how Nightbot is reminding everyone that you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram. If you want to follow someone who never posts on Twitter and Instagram, then I have the account for you. Because that's basically how I treat those. I, I post... I take time every week to make sure there's posts going out just about every day on my community tab. And I never take the same time for Instagram or Twitter. It's just... I have the one place I post. And I just can't... Oh yeah, we got, we got distracted by your farm where you're steamrolling crops. That's right. Am I doing random dream address? Uh, yes, we were picking random dream addresses from the form. So you've set up like an entire, there you are, uh, or your uh, monarch character anyway. So you set up this entire dig site and like all these fossils. This is incredible. Look at the lights. Let me get over there. We got more of those stairs and you can't turn the camera here. So you, you are, the force perspective is working. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. Kathy, thank you so much for the donation. You're all awesome. Social media is hard to keep up with. Museum gift shop. I love that. I love how you can... So you have the sign that says museum gift shop. And then what you can do is you can buy the, the magazine titled Museum Gift Shop. And what this magazine is, I don't know if you know this, but when you purchase a copy of Museum Gift Shop, you've just purchased a whole bunch of incredible pictures for inspiration and perusal that showcase the best and most exclusive museum gift shops that there are. So get you a copy today at your nearest museum gift shop. The, the, the big book of museum gift shops now available at a museum gift shop near you. And also this fossil hat and shirt. You have two sphinxes. I'm so jealous. I've been trying to get a second sphinx, and that Gulliver just will not. Gulliver's like, no. You get one sphinx. But I help him all the time. <sighs> jealous. I'm jealous of your incredible island. All right. Onward. So Levi Ghost, you just donated another $50. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm looking forward to redesigning your shirt. We're about to hit double our goal for this stream. And my mind is blown. Literally blown. You're all amazing. This money is going directly in support of children and families in Ukraine. It's going to get them water. It's going to get them the supplies that they need, and you guys are awesome. This is an important cause for all of us in the world. To me in particular, I actually work with people from Ukraine because I work in a company that has people working all over the world. So I had to do this. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much. Mm. Okay. We have some more shirts to design. Because as you know, if you have given $25 or more, I said I would make you a really bad shirt. And so here's all the shirts we've made so far up here in this room. My future kitchen slash dining area. This is, this is where I'm going to have like the big dining table and all the kitcheny stuff, you know. So, so here's some of our shirts. Oh, I didn't put them all up yet. Here, let me. We got a lot of shirts. Ugh. Let's move these ones back a little bit. Oh, it's not over. We we are not done. Um, sorry about that. A little, I know it's a little confusing. I'm I'm taking a shirt break. What that means is I have more shirts I need to design. As a thank you to everybody who's giving very very generous donations, and also, I'm getting really good at these shirts. 
So I don't mind practicing. Uh, so let's see. I will display this here. Put that right there. And then I'm going to step back a little bit and try and display the other two. An anonymous $20 donation. Thank you so much. And then uh, is Artist Turn. Thank you for your $20 donation. Why does, why does the thing keep going back to the top of chat instead of live? I'm not uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Ryan. Are you talking about the pinned um, goal? There it is. $1,000. Oh, my gosh. Incredible. So it looks like Space Turtle got us over the mark there for $1,000. And you also get a shirt. And I cannot wait to make a Space Turtle shirt, by the way. Incredible. I can't believe this. You're all amazing. I'm in my polish uniform. I don't know why. Well, you know what? Here, that's how excited I am. I, I don't know what here. This I'm going to I'm going to polish the shirt. There we go. Now now I'm just in build mode. Okay, we got we got some shirts to design. A stream where viewers are actually, uh, where viewers are actually gold core. <laughs> okay, so next on our list was Coco Cat. So we are making a shirt for Coco Cat. I think we're literally going to make just that. So here's what we do. Uh, first and foremost, we get our fill all tool and we get rid of these terrible lines that are all over the place. And then we're going to make the sleeves gray on this one. All right, and we're going to draw Coco Cat. So I think what we'll do is we'll start with a circle. Uh, we'll start down here. Okay, so something like that. And then I'm actually, I'm going to, look at me. I'm going to actually try, I can't center it perfectly, but we can we can do that. We can pretend. And then... We need to give the cat some ears. So let's let's see. Cats have pointy ears. I know because I I actually have a cat myself, and uh, those are kind of pointy. And let's fill in its cat face. There we go. And its cat ears. There we are. And okay. Um, let's let's go to the uh, maybe this color here. You know how cats have ears but then they also you can kind of see the little pink part in their ear that's what this is so this cat has very clean ears this is almost coming out good and we have to we have to fix this cats have green eyes right so let me take this stamp tool here and we're going to give this cat some green eyes we're going to put one here and we're going to put one there. There we go. Look, there we go. It looks like this cat got kind of like, it, it ran around the house a lot and it hit the right side of its head on like the, the edge of the bed or something. And never the same. Uh, we need to give the cat a mouth. And I usually use the black pen for, for those features. But now the whole cat's face is black. So I guess we can make it, what if we made... This little pink mouth, uh, but really it's not mouth. It's just the cat sticking its tongue out. Like that. Meh. There we go. It's like a blep. That's what it is. And then we can go ahead and give it those. You know, cats have um, eyeballs in their in their head. There we go. Perfect. This cat has been through some things. And, uh, you know what? I, I think this is perfect. You know, you don't, you don't overdo it. When you, when you feel like you've made art, just commit to the art. That's what, that's what it takes to make good art. If you've ever wondered why my videos come out so good, it's because I know when to stop. I know when I've made art. Cat Belly Bomb, 
Speaking of cats, thank you for your donation. We got an anonymous $5 donation as well. Thank you, everybody. Coco Cat, I hope you enjoy your shirt. It's probably one of my favorites. <laughs> that face went too much cat nip. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, next up is Chris. Chris D. Uh, we have we have Chris's shirt next. I'm gonna do blue sleeves again, um, and so this time I'm not gonna make them different colors. There we go. No no errors at the printing uh, in the printing of the shirt. Um, oh, I usually use this one. There we go. That was almost an error. I said there was no errors and I almost made one. Okay. Chris, what hobbies what hobbies do we think Chris has? I'm trying to look at your profile picture. Let me I can make it a little bit bigger. I, I can maybe replicate it. Let me see. Oh. Oh wow, it's actually really detailed. Um so it looks like it looks like if Professor Oak from Pokemon had really sweet shades on. I think we can do that. All right. Uh let's start with our circle tool and um, it's like, so it's kind of like this, right? Well, first we need to make the rest of the shirt a different color because he has white hair. So let's fill the shirt, um, with gray, but I'm actually going to make the gray a little bit lighter, kind of like that. Okay. There we go. All right. Oh, and then circle tool, right. So that's the head. Okay, and then we don't really need to worry about the rest of him. He's, it's, um, if you're wondering what the profile picture looks like and you can't see it for yourself, basically uh, he's, he's kind of holding a Pokeball like in his hand there. And then he's just kind of like, you know, using this arm to kind of shrug, like, I don't know. And then, then he's got a, a torso like that. So that's kind of the, what, what we're looking at. Um, now I've been playing some Pokemon, so I know how these look. Uh, Pokeballs are ball shaped, first of all, and they're usually red and white. And I don't remember if white goes on the bottom or the top, but it doesn't matter because we don't want to get sued anyway. So I think that's just going to how it's, that's just going to be how it looks. Okay, so there we go. We got that. And then, uh, yeah, he's got this this crazy white hair. Um, I did say crazy now. Okay. Mm -hmm. and maybe, maybe the hair kind of comes down a little bit, too. It covers the head. Um, like that. All right. And... Uh, let me just chip away here a little bit. Let's gulp this hair out. Something like this. Okay. And then he's wearing these shades, and they look awesome. Uh, I think what we're going to do is literally just something like this. That actually worked out perfect. Okay, so he's got these like sweet shades and he's holding his Pokeball. And then he's got this big stupid grin on his face. He's like so happy. He's like, oh man, I just I just caught a Pokemon. That is my interpretation of Chris D's profile image. So I think we've done good work here. Um, we'll name it after you. Mildred, you're okay. Thanks for being here. I almost put Mildrew, but this is Christy. Perfect. There we go. Chris D. There's your shirt. Uh, okay, next on the list is Levi Ghost. We got to do Levi Ghost 2.0. 
Um, all right, Levi Ghost. Oh, and we made earlier, since we made you a t-shirt last time, uh, when we redid Seth 2.0, uh, we decided to go with sweater. So I'm going to do that for you. So you have something when it gets cold. Or hoodie, whatever. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and let's actually make this like a lighter black. And what we're going to do is, oops, wrong tool. Now keep editing. We're going to fill this in. There we go. And then we got to draw the ghost. Now, the last time I tried to draw the ghost, it didn't go super well. I had to give it legs. And ghosts don't have legs. I don't know if you know this, but that's like, that's like a thing. So this time, I'm going to start from the bottom. And then we're going to work our way up. So the ghost has like these little like frilly bits at the bottom, right? That's, see, this already looks like a ghost to me. And then like the, you know, it kind of goes up like this and then over and then there, you know what? This is already a billion times better than the ghost from before. Look at that. It looks terrifying. It's great. Okay. And then it's got these, these holes in the sheet here for the eyes, which we'll use the stamp for. Not that big. Okay. We'll put one here and we'll put one right here. There we go. And this already looks good. Okay. But it just needs, it needs like one thing to kind of like put it over the top. Like what would make this the best looking ghost ever? I think I know. Mm hmm. There it is. A couple of imperfections. It looks like it. The ghost got caught on a tree, and it also looks like a a wolf bit off the back end. It's perfect. All right, here we go. Levi Ghost 2.0. 2. 2.0. Oh. Spoopy Ghost. That's how you know you did it right. Okay, and then we have one more. No, wait. I'm in the wrong part here. Okay, we do. Wait, what's that one? Oh, no, I'm just confused again. Okay, we have one more. It was Space Turtle. I am going to make a Space Turtle shirt. For Space Turtle, I couldn't resist. Someone named Space Turtle donated. I can't, I'm sorry. That's what has to happen now. So let's, let's make a spacey looking kind of sky here. It's going to be like a dark, dark blue. Um, and then for the sleeves, we'll do like, I don't know, an orange, but like better. Like a burnt orange. There we go. Looks kind of like a jersey. All right, space turtle, space turtle. All right, let's let's get on with it. So, turtles have turtle bodies, and so we'll use the stamp tool again. And we'll, that's too big. Uh, let's let's just use like a couple of stamps here. We're gonna do the turtle from we're gonna do like a side profile of a turtle. Okay, so there's that. There's the there's the turtle uh, body, and then we're gonna give this one a shell. Uh, so that's going to be, maybe it's going to hang over like this. Okay. Oops. 
Now I want it to be even. This is good. Yeah, there we go. All right, and then it needs turtle legs. So let's give it some little turtle legs. Perfect. Okay, it needs a turtle face. Now, usually turtles have heads that like stick out of their bodies. So first we got to do that, right? We got to give it like a turtle head. Like, uh, like this. But not quite like this. Like it needs to be a little more rounded. There we go. Oh, oops. Stop doing that. There. Okay. And then we got to give it some eyes. We'll just do one because it's a side profile. And then maybe it also has like a little like like tongue sticking out like that. Like that cat from before. That looks awesome, actually. Okay, and I think turtles have tails, too. So let's go ahead and... There we go. Make a little turtle tail. Oh, and space. Right. Uh, it's a space turtle, so we need some space elements to this design. Uh, first, let's move the turtle down a little bit. Okay, and then space stuff. Um, that'll be easy. All we got to do is... no. Um, oh, why don't we try the star stamp tool? Can we do small? Yeah. Look at that. So we can just put some like little stars in the sky. It's perfect. And then we can even look at this. I'll even do some stars on the back. I never decorate the back. But for you, there we are. Space turtle is complete. It's amazing. I feel like everybody's been saying that all night. So either you all really mean it or you're all being super sarcastic, but there's no way. There's no way that that many people would all be sarcastic at the same time. Like without having planned that or something. Right? I think I'm just imagining that. I think you all genuinely mean it. There we go. There's the space turtle. I should have given him an astronaut helmet. Well, it's a space turtle, so it like it, it adapts and survives. That's that's the lore behind space turtle. Haven't you ever seen a space turtle? All right, perfect. Thank you all for your donations. Let me put these shirts up and let's go look at more islands. Oops! Don't change the design. Don't change the design. What are you doing? We want to display the design like that. And we want to display this one like that. And then we got to put the uh, other one over here. Okay. I can't believe how many of these we made. And then we got, we got the, the Coco Cat one as well, right? Let me back up a little bit. Oh, it's beautiful. These are the best shirts. I don't care where you go, breathtaking designs. I don't care where you go on the internet. You can go to your Animal Crossing Instagrams and your Twitter feeds and your Reddits. You're not going to find shirts better than those. Those shirts were inspired by real life events. Those shirts have seen some stuff and some things. Where are you going to get shirts that authentic? That seasoned with personality. Nowhere but here. All right. 77 islands have been submitted today. Let's go to the next one. It's number 59. Okay. I have the dream address up.
Let's search by dream address. 2897. 6719. 1129. Alright, we are going to the island of Green City. YouTube username is Raymond Fans. So Raymond Fans, if you're still here, we're checking out your island. Crab Rangoon, love these shirts. Thank you. I'm glad everyone loves the shirts. Shirts are made with love. They were. They I I loved making them. And uh, Toka Sparkles just joined the stream as well. And Jay, Neptune. I missed a whole bunch of names. Fizzy's here. All right. I'm still studying up on all the different flags. I don't know all of them offhand. Which one is this? And while y'all answer that, I will look at the map. Tammy, Tad, Wendy, Julian, Marina, Raymond, Zucker, Sherb, Anka, and Chrissy. Wow. Everyone's house, like, there's like a neighborhood, but then everyone has like house and different houses in different spots, and they're all nice, and they got little paths around them. So you just get done with shirts. Uh, yes, a whole batch of them. All right. This is already looking to be an, like another incredible island. I, ooh, wait a minute. What's this? It's in gold wrapping paper. It must specifically be for me. And I dropped it. Let me try again. Let me try again. Take two. Waistcoat. Huh. You know, it was in gold wrapping paper, but they kind of... I got excited because I thought it was like going to be like a gold waistcoat. But they actually, I think they're just sick of looking at me wearing gold stuff. And they're like, I am tired of that dumb shirt. And so they gave me this waistcoat knowing I would wear it around their island. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll put away the gold shirt if it means that much. This little dock is cool. And I like this. I love a useless bridge. And I, I know it sounds like I'm trying to be like sarcastic. But no, I legitimately love... When bridges are used as decorations, you don't need a bridge here. There, You can walk around it pretty easy, but I love that you put it here. That's it. It's a sign of wealth. You have so many bridges to just throw around that you're just building them wherever. And I love it. This is awesome. What a letdown. Less is more. Businessman <laughs> Tan. No! My whole personality was in that shirt, and now I'm wearing this thing, the waistcoat. It doesn't make any sense. It's not, it's not right. Oh, I recognize these path borders. I like this little garden here. This is cool. Just joined. I think you're doing something great for Ukraine. Thank you. Jims, thank you. Thank you for being here. Ooh, nice functional rock garden. I just made my rock garden on my other island a lot more functional, so I can definitely respect the work you've done here to make yours functional. You can walk to every single rock, you can hit all of them, and then you can pick up all the stuff afterwards. That is what I would call a 100% functional rock garden. It also looks like you uploaded this dream today because the grass is the same color as it is on my island. Little known fact, the character you see on screen is Dan's actual face. That is true. A lot of people don't believe that. That's why it's always confusing. People are like, face reveal. It's like, well, what do you? What more do you want? This is like what I actually look like. I don't know what to tell you. What a delicious rock garden. Okay, a little concerned for Ryan, but uh, we won't go into it. Free, free recipes. You have a very big recipe uh, beach. I should do that. I should put more recipe stalls on my beach. I'm always putting the recipes just on my beach when I when my recipe stalls overfill. I should just put a bunch of these on my beach. My rock garden's not functional. Yeah, that's uh, but they look better when they're not too because you can cluster them all together and do cool things. But but then you can't get the rocks out of them. Look at Anka going over to the uh, clothing store only to find out it says we're open, but they're not. 
So let me go ahead and turn that off. Let me correct that for you, Able Sisters. Your sign was wrong. We went ahead and fixed that for you because due to unusual circumstances, you'll be closed today. So maybe on your way out, you should have turned off the sign, you jerks. Little carrot farm there. We got lights with all the different... Oh, look at that. We got... Look at all the different Raymond pictures. Couldn't decide which one you like more. I'll just take them all. All the Raymond photos, please. Look at this. Look at look at all the flowers getting all over the beach. <laughs> I kind of like this right here. There's the two statues sitting there by the beach like that. Wait, what what's going on? I missed a comment and everyone's laughing. No, am I trapped in the game like Jumanji? Yeah, well, that's a true story. I don't know if you guys knew that. Look at this. We got more rain. Whoa. Okay, wait, there's a lot more Raymonds than I thought. You've dedicated an entire section of your island to various posters of Raymond. And then you've lit them up and so everyone could see them at night, too. And then you... Wow, okay, wait a minute. This is getting a little overkill. <laughs> Jay's like, this island's calming. Well, it was. It's getting... <laughs> It's getting. I'm getting a little overwhelmed. It's just, it's just Raymond's everywhere. Is this Raymond's? Is this supposed to be Raymond's house? Because it doesn't look like Raymond's house. I kind of need to see inside this house, right? Uh, it's getting a bit shriny, a bit stalkery, and I gotta know more. Oh my gosh. What is go? Look at the posters. Look at the. Oh, I get the waistcoat now. I've been sucked into. Into the um, you know, this whole this whole conspiracy. Oh, I'm uneasy. I now understand why I have to wear this around the island. Oh, this is just. This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. I don't even I don't even know what to say. You've been Raymonded. What on earth? Who is what is this island we're touring? It started out so nice. And then there's like a legit $50,000 TV camera and expensive lighting equipment pointed at this bed. What is going on? Why? What a weird, creepy thing to do. What? Usually, I have to try really hard. I go into a room in a house, and I have to try really hard to make out the story. Like, what the heck is happening in this room? And, and then I, I think of, like, what's the most messed up thing that's also still family-friendly that I can say right now? And then you get into this place, and it's like cameras pointed at beds. And it makes my job really hard. You know that? I don't need you and your totally weird house messing up my whole thing. It's making it really difficult to do what I do. And that's make messed up observations about otherwise perfectly normal things. And here you come with Barbie science prison. What am I supposed to do with this? Like, how do I make fun of this? How do I go on a tangent about what is already nonsense? You don't. You just, you just run as far away from this as you can. <laughs> Squid game much? I guess so. It's the cult sleeping quarters. And then this room. The, the final, like, the icing on the cake. The, the offerings. 
to the Raymond poster. <sighs> yeah, forget Barbie Dreamhouse. Okay, what a creepy, terrifying place. Let's continue. This is cool. See, you see how this island, like, it's this Whiplash. It should have just been called Whiplash. Whiplash Island. I did not know there was a gold variety of the stereo. I'm going to need to remember that. In any case, you know, one second it's, like, terrifying, and the next you get to this museum entrance, and it's just glorious. And then you got the Raymond faces again. And here we go again. So now we get to Raymond's actual house. I guess this is supposed to be like all his favorite things at his front door. I gotta know. Oh, I can't though. He's not home. I was going to say, I gotta know. Did they like customize? And why is Marshall's face here now? What is going on? Wait. Is there like another house dedicated to an obsession with Marshall that I should know about? I'm going to run through all these. I just got to see if there's a way. Ah, damn. My house isn't weird to get upstairs. I guess we all have one of those rooms. Museum entrance is really big. <laughs> Nook's Cranny. This is a great sign. I like it a lot. Where open? What? No, you're freaking not. What's with all the businesses on this island and their false freaking advertising? Turn off your signs. If you're closed, I don't care if you closed early. Just don't deceive people. Goodness gracious. All right. Fine. I'll pop up here where there's... Ooh, we got lamps and party lights. This is kind of nice. It's like a little... uh I honestly don't know what's going on here. I feel like there should be more stuff here. It looks like where you would host a neighborhood like gathering, which I like. But you gotta have more tables and chairs for everybody. There's nowhere to there's nowhere to put your drinks down. Other than that, that's a cool spot. Oh, we got you got a, a gyroid here having a rough night. Unless the gyroid at the attic isn't normal. I don't know. I just keep my gyroids in storage for the most part. Ooh. Farms, farms, farms. We got Raymond. This person doesn't tend to their crops a whole lot. But I like the farms otherwise. This is a really cool island. And then sometimes in some areas it's less cool and more, more scary. But then it gets cool again. And I like that at least. Here, let me pop down over here and see if there's any spots we missed. I've seen quite a bit. Oh, we got the surf shop. I mean, or not really surf shop, but just a little beachy area. Yeah, I'm going to say... If we haven't seen all of it, we've seen most of it. So thank you for sharing. That was thoroughly upsetting and also fun. Let's do another island. I'm going to look and see how many submissions we have, which is 80. 80 submissions on the form. 68 is the next one we're going to check out. All right, I've got it up here. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, AC Clips. Appreciate that. <laughs> it was something. All right, I want to dream. Uh, 
Uh, we're going to search by dream address. And we're going to search for the dream address. 0582. Uh, 5808. 9893. No, 9839. Now I gotta read it again to make sure. So 0582 5808 9839. Okay, perfect. Bellanova. We're going to the island of Bellanova. Uh, it is CreedyV1. That's the YouTube username. I've seen you around here. Your name's always been hard to say, but there you go. That's my best guess. And you're here. Perfect. Thank you for submitting your island, and thank you all to... Uh, Thank you to all of you for being here. If you're somebody who's still watching this stream and it's not live, you're watching it after the fact, thank you as well. Um, let me know in the comments what your favorite island has been so far. Um, and feel free to subscribe so you can be at the next live stream and submit your island. Now I say that, and I look at the time, I'm like, well, that was two hours and 26 minutes in. So they're not here. I've just talked to nobody. But if you did make it this far, um, say Bella Nova three times in the comments. <laughs> All right, what do we got? So we have a very uniform neighborhood up at the top of the map, uh, and it's all cats. Wow, okay. Um, this is awesome. Tom, Raymond, Tangy, Kitty, Cat, Mary, Mitzi, Punchy, Rudy, Lolly. I have an island called Capute, and I don't even have all cats. Mildred, we'll see you later. No problem. Okay. Ooh, I like this path. This is fun. Wait. What? Okay, hold on. What's going on here? All are welcome. Love to see that. I like this, this uh, very courteous uh, guest area that you have. There's a place to cook, a place to craft, a place to play your money. So anyone who visits can can do all the things right literally when they get off the plane, which is awesome. Um, or you're putting them to work. I don't know. It's however you want to look at it. We have a gyroid garden of one. Look at this. What's going on here? Free. Okay, a bunch of free clothes. Maybe we should maybe we should go ahead and, and get us an outfit while we're here. Cafe uniform. DJ KK logo T. All right, let's get some pants. Plaid skirt. Long sweat skirt. Are they just all skirts? Uh, pearl skirt. Fine, fine. We'll go with the skirt. A label cap. Um, pixel shades. Oh boy, here we go. Um, sure, why not? An umbrella. What kind of socks are these? Striped socks. I'll take them. Oh, and we got a bag too. Give me the bag. I don't think we can wear the umbrella and the... No, I think we can do both. That's neon tights. Did not mean to do that. I don't know what this bag is, but I'm taking it. Okay. Uh, we have we have a whole outfit here. So I'm going to wear this. I'm going to wear this. All right. We got the LaBelle cap. The pixel shades. Um, no. Uh, we're going to wear the neon tights. They match my pixel shades. <laughs> And put on this bag and then hold the umbrella. Look at that. Oh, wait, shoes. Right. Lace up boots, high tops, faux suede sneakers, basic pumps, moccasin boots, and rubber to that. I guess moccasin boots. There we go. Okay. Officially the best island we've been to so far because they gave me a full wardrobe. Full wardrobe. We've got a flower garden over here, says the sign. And, oh, we were not lied to. 
Please water. <laughs> I gotta know what this sign means. It says sorry. And it's like a person scooping what I assume is something you don't want in the road. And it's everywhere. I keep seeing it all over this island. What are they sorry for? And here's the thing. Okay. Hold on. Let me show you the first place I saw this sign. It was right over here. At the front. There. Okay. So there's this sign, right? It says, sorry. And you got this guy. Or lady. You got somebody. Scooping a substance. Okay? Off the ground. Now, this, this sign was created because of a problem. It was addressing a problem. And the sign isn't say it doesn't say caution, you know, hey, watch out for the pile of nonsense in the road. It says sorry, it apologizes. It, it apologizes because there's no intent to clean it up. It's just here to let you know, hey, we know there's poop on the ground and we're sorry about that, okay? We're sorry. What we're not going to do is what the poster suggests, which is clean it up. You know, that's not happening. Sorry that no one's here to do that. These signs are everywhere, too. I mean, you got one right here. We had one by the flower garden. And it's, it's, a, little, it's a little weird to me. Are you really sorry? Because you don't seem sorry. It feels like you're just leaving poop in the road. And whenever, you, whenever it happens, you just put a sign up. And then nature just kind of takes it eventually. It just kind of gets absorbed into the grass or whatever. Maybe, maybe a dog comes and eats it. The problem is the island is only cats. And cats are a little cleaner than that. So I don't, I don't know where it goes. But the apology, now that's, that's disingenuous. That's not a thing that's happening. They said it's a work in progress sign? It, is it? Here's the thing. If that's a work in progress sign, this sign right here, you say it's a work in progress sign, it, I know it's not, because Animal Crossing is a game about decorating an island. All of our islands are always works in progress. That's why we do these live streams, so we can all get inspiration and keep working on them. So no, that's not a work in progress sign. You're being fooled by the island creator. They're just telling jokes. Th what they really do is they let people poop on the ground, and nobody cleans it up. And they, they made an apology sign, because that to them was easier than getting their hands dirty and doing the right thing. That's what really happened. I know you don't want to admit it. I know it's a hard thing to deal with. I'm just, and I'm just here to expose it for what it is. I'm not judging. It's, you know, it's their island. It's not my island. Look at, you know how you know I'm right? Look at the flowers. You know how you get flowers like this in this abundance? Fertilizer. That's how you get flower gardens like this, folks. That it's not a secret. There's the apology is nonsense. You know, they're benefiting, obviously, from the mess that's created. And the only thing they're probably sorry for is the stank. Sorry. Sorry, it kind of stanks on this island. But hey, at least the flowers are pretty. All right, now quit egging me on. That's a lot of editing I got to do. Look at this neighborhood. Look at everyone's house is color coordinated. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You've picked like the exact color of the house. You found items that were just that exact color. It's just very, very vibrant. Look at this yellow one. Holy moly. Do their houses really look like this? They're so, look, there's no way you're not customizing these houses. In, in the interiors using Happy Home. Core is here. Dogs do love cats. I did notice people were saying that. 
and I I thought they were just getting really hung up. Now I'm now I'm worried you raided me and I totally missed it. How are you, Cora? I was going on a, what I call a tangent, and I think I might have missed a raid or something. This I think this might be Punchy's Punchy's normal house. Maybe all the cat houses are just like really vibrant. I don't. Well, there's, is there Raymond here? Because I know what that house looks like. It is a raid. Gosh dang it. I'm so bad. I should just hang it up, guys. I'm not... This streaming thing clearly isn't working out. I got raided. I barely said hello to Cora or anybody. I just... I was just losing my mind over, over some of the atrocities on this island. And I had to point them out. And I missed it completely. Well, thank you, raiders. Thank you, Cora. Welcome, everybody. Um, we're checking out what's probably uh, maybe our fourth or fifth island tonight. Uh, it's been it's been a night of chaos, a, a night of debauchery. Um, we're checking out this island that's fertilized all of their land with um, I'm there's no way there's no way to sugarcoat this the feces of the residents, and uh, they've put apology signs everywhere. Sorry for the stank, et cetera, et cetera. If you were here before, you you heard all that. And uh, that's about the time you guys joined. So that's what we do. We tour Dream Islands and we tell their story. Sorry. <laughs> it's, yes, it is a very vibrant island. It's awesome. I'm trying to see other parts of it. I feel like I feel like I skipped right past this incredible castle earlier because I was just really hung up on all of that down there. And I bet you this house is awesome. Let me check the form and make sure I have permission to go in this house. Yes. Oh, their YouTube name. They, they said their YouTube name is pronounced Creative One. You toured your old, I toured your old, your old island, but I didn't tour this one. And you updated the dream yesterday, but it's very work in progress. I uh, hope you have time to go inside and try to figure out what's going on in my bathroom in the left room. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's going on in the bathroom? <laughs> Clearly nothing normal because all the bathrooming we saw happened outside. So the left room is apparently a mystery bathroom. Oh, this is cool. We got like an all-in-one living space here. Got their sofa and stuff, their switch, and their pets are here, and the computer's over here, and the weight bench is over here. So they do all of their living out of the main room, which means all these other rooms are gonna be a roller coaster. Way to read the form. I'm sorry, I forgot I added that section to the form. It was very new. Huh. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of things going on in this bathroom. An upsetting amount of things. I mean, I wouldn't use this bathroom, and I think that's the problem. I think we found the source of the issues, you know, outside. You've made a bathroom that's not usable. Of course, says the body adds a nice contrast to the white tile. Fair, yes. Uh-huh. It does. I like, and the blue on this creepy doll watching you go pops. It's a, it's a very vibrant blue. Um, You know, plays off the blue of the... the Dead guy's shorts over there. Um, what more can you say about a place like this? Except, um, yeah, no, we said it all. That was everything. The island is R-rated. Yeah, this island is going to get me canceled. It's at least going to get me a community guideline strike. I don't want that. We've raised a thousand dollars for children and families in Ukraine and I guess that's a good way to go out if, if I'm going to have a last stream I guess that's a good one to go out on here's this tray again here's this nasty tray of like protein lumps I don't know 
I guess, are these supposed to be the ingredients to make whatever this is? Is that bacon green? What? Why are people putting these trays out in their island on their islands? These are not decorations. This is like, no. It's just, there's, okay, so in the middle there is like a, a pile of blueberry vomit. There's a lump of purple tree bark. In the, the corner you have some, I guess that's supposed to be jello. It might be the only edible thing on that tray if it is. The bacon spoiled years ago. Um, you have what look like biscuits, but they're, they're this weird purplish color. They, they look like, they look like they'd be solid rocks. And then for some reason, tater tots. What is that tray? Why is it on so many islands? And why is there ketchup and mustard on baguettes? These and more questions. Do I even dare go into any more rooms? This house, like, it really took the island in a different direction. Okay, this is like the most normal place we've been so far. They picked a theme. They put furniture in, in the room. They put a couple little other knickknacks that kind of go along with it. And they, they stopped and they said, this is a room and this room is nice and I am done. And, and then they made that horrifying bathroom. All right, let's pop upstairs. Looks like a bar of purple soap. This room, a little more chaotic. We got a suit of armor for some reason. Uh, I love the gyroids in the hot tub. That's that's amazing, and I gotta replicate that. This person's a fan of gyroids, and I appreciate I, I appreciate that. And I approve of that. The hot tub color doesn't match. Well, that's okay. The gyroids seem to like it. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh my. That's a lot more gyros than I was expecting. They're all very happy to be here. Dancing to all the music. <laughs> okay, see? Most of this house was normal. Koi! Koi donated $25. Oh my goodness. To UNICEF. Thank you so much, Koi. Uh, after this island, I will make you your shirt. You're going to hate it. But thank you for your donation. How are you? All right. I think... I think we've seen the highlights. I think. I mean... This island was, there, there was a lot. There was a lot to see. And it could be that we missed something. I mean, there's a whole bunch of gear. I guess I missed these presents earlier too. I found the clothing pile and I just, you know, went shopping for myself. I guess there was a, a farming game show or something that we missed over here. Um, I like the farm a lot. This is actually really cool. And then we got a rusty boat on some rocks. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything else. Before we go back. All right. Thank you so much for sharing your island. That was a lot of fun. Now we have another shirt to design. Welcome, everybody. We are not only touring Dream Islands today, but we are raising money uh, for children and family, families in the Ukraine and uh, for the crisis over there. So 
if you felt like donating, whenever someone donates $25, I'll make them one shirt and it will be bad. And if you want it, if you're like, how bad could it be? Well, <laughs> let me show you. These are just some of the shirts. Actually, these are literally all of them that we've made tonight. I'll, I'll give you a, a nice close-up gander at these. We'll, we'll, we'll do a real nice pan over of some of the shirts that have come out of the stream tonight. These are all these all represent at least twenty-five dollars or more towards UNICEF, and um, you know they'll be available for download here shortly. And now we got to make koi one. Uh, all right, here we go. What's what's a shame is that I feel like I was just getting to know you, Koi, but uh, after this, you're probably never going to talk to me again. And I understand. I wouldn't talk to me either. Uh, okay, so I'm looking at your avatar right now. I'm seeing a lot of pink, so I'm going to lean into that. Let's do something we haven't done yet. Let's look at the palettes and see if there's one that lends us quite a few different shades of pink. Like this one could has a few in there. Um, hmm, let's see. Yeah, maybe maybe that one. There we go. All right. And what we'll do, grab this, grab this, and we'll, there we go. Make a blank shirt. I'm going to go with this color pink for the sleeves. Oops. There we go. And then we need to, we need to draw, I think what we're going to do is draw your likeness. Um, and probably not well. So let's start, you know, we'll, we'll start, we'll keep, we'll keep our job simple here. We'll, we'll use, what color should we use? It should be this one. We'll use this um, circle tool to draw your head. So it should be more round than oval, but slightly oval. Okay, so far so good. I might need to change that color, but that's fine. All right, we'll move it to about there. It's not centered, but that's okay. They usually aren't. Um, and then, let's see. You have this vibrant, well, yeah, pretty vibrant pink hair. So I'm just going to draw these spikes like this because it's kind of like the, the hair design you have, right? I kind of messed up one of the spikes in the middle there, so I just kind of rolled with it. So there we go. Um, we'll put another spike over here. And then maybe one over here. Just a little one. Um, okay, sorry some of that got on your face, but that's okay. All right. Uh, I'm not done. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> We're not done with it. Stupid button. I was trying to get the uh, paint bucket tool here. And we'll... Oops. Go over here. Stop it. We got to fill in all these weird gaps in your hair. I don't know what happened. There we go. That's a little better. All right. And now, so it looks like you're wearing glasses. And I think your your eyes are closed and you're happy and you're waving. All right. Perfect. So what we'll do then is you kind of got that thing going on where your eyes are smiling. So to do that, what you got to do is something like this. See how it looks like the eyes are like smiling now? Because that's, that's always paired with a, a mouth that is also smiling. And that's going to be something something along those lines. There we go. And then you have these brown glasses. I'm going to need... We'll use this color for those. All right. Should we just go ahead and do this? Now it just looks like I gave you a unibrow. But don't worry. I will fix it. Okay, your glasses, so what happened with the glasses was that my my little cursor there kind of moved onto the next plane of existence, and so they were supposed to be one shape, and they ended up being two shapes. Um, but I think we're just going to go with it, because I, I think that's working anyway. And so I'm just going to give, you know, glasses have those little things that hold under your ears, like for dear life. Okay, those ones are going to need them. All right, what else? And, oh, and you're waving. Right, 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 right. Okay, waving waving okay i'm really good at at the rest of people i do their faces and then I, this is the part i'm really good at so 
your arm kind of comes up like this. And then, um, well, I didn't give you any elbow. Let's, here, let me break your arm real quick. Uh, all right, there we go. Now, now we got a little elbow there. You got two elbows. You got two different joints in your arm, which is most people don't have that. That's kind of cool. Um, that's a you know crossing minute trademark there. Um, and then we got to give you a little hand. Animal Crossing hands are round. We have a round tool here. Stop it. And we'll just put that like that. There you go. That's you kind of waving at everybody, saying, "Help me, please throw me into like a fire or something." Um, and then let's take the color I chose for you and make it a little darker because it's just blending into the background a little too much. Like, yeah, I think that's good. And then we got to fill in the rest. Let's grab the fill tool. Mm-hmm. 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 There we go. Perfect. All right. So this looks almost identical to Koi's... Oh, wait. No, I'm missing one, one detail. Um, there's this really weird blue bird that lives in Koi's hair. Um, I think it's a bird. The profile picture is very small, so forgive me. Uh, but we're going to say it's a bird. And so I got to... Hold on. Oh, no, wait. Okay, stay on that. We're just going to... We're going to find blue. Don't worry. I will, I will put the bird in your hair. I forgot. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, so it kind of lives, it's a feather. I was almost right, so it's like part of a bird. Okay, I'm going to say it's a bird. So, let's see. So birds kind of look like this, right? So there's like, you know, there's the body, and then they got their little wings. Okay, um, and then they got their bird face, and then they got their bird tail. Um, and then they got yellow beaks, so we're going to give them a beak. That's actually really cool looking. <laughs> I actually kind of like that. Uh, let's just fix its head. There we go. No, I liked it better. That There we go. Beak should stick out, I think. Now it looks like it's enjoying some hair. It's perfect. It's a rainbow feather? Well, to me, it looks blue because the picture's so darn tiny. Um, so there you go. Oh, you didn't capitalize your name. All right, Koi. You'll be able to download this shirt and, you know, you can wear it around your island. You can give it to your least favorite villager. Um, you can hang it on your fridge. You can throw it in the trash. You know, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with these. They're very versatile. Um, I'm just making sure I spelled your name right. And, uh, yeah. There we go. There you are. Look at that. Look how happy you look. It's perfect. All right. Another satisfied customer. Put that one right there. Look at our shirt collection. Give it to your boss. <laughs> All right, back to touring islands. That was very distracting. Oh yeah, Artsy, that was Koi. Koi donated $25 and that was enough to get a very horrible shirt. It's, it's all right there in the description. $25 buys you regret. <laughs> you get the warm feeling inside from helping people. And then you have to look at that shirt and go, crap. What have I done? I'm kidding, of course. Listen, I've known some bosses that deserve shirts like that. That's all I'm going to say. Uh... <laughs> Let's type in a dream address. Uh, so on the form, we've got 86 people who've submitted their islands. So I'm going to put 86 in my random number picker, and it's going to choose 33, someone much earlier, someone who's probably not here anymore, some fortunate soul 
who's going to miss out, potentially, on our tour of their island. It's probably for the best. They left a long time ago. And they're probably going to get a decent night's sleep as a result. All right, we're going to the Island of Bloom. And the username is um, Pixchi, I think. I don't know. There's a P and an X and a Chi, and there's a hyphen for some reason. Uh, and they said their game name is Peachy. Please only tour my house. Also, my island isn't done completely. Oh, so if I go into any house, tour just theirs. The house um, for the user or the character Peachy. Artsy Gamer, thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. Everybody here, by the way, needs to check out Koi. They need to check out Artsy Gamer. Of course, they need to check out Cora. Um, all fellow creators here being awesome, putting up with my nonsense. Thank you. Thank you for being here. All right. We're on the Island of Bloom. Let's check out their flag. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's like a hyper detailed baby Yoda. Oh, I love it. Is that, is that when he's holding the soup? can't really tell, but it looks amazing. There are a lot of people who live on this island. Okay, so we got Canberra, Scoot, Sherb, Savannah, Marshall, Shino, I guess, as I was told now, Muffy, Tiffany, Raymond, and Whitney. Wow, look at all the paths. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like this path they chose. That is really nice. <gasps> Kitten Amy one, thank you for your donation. Oh my gosh. I guess we're making another shirt. Let me write this down. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. And then, oh boy, we got another one. Luna Daisy, thank you as well. And then Crab Rangoon, what happened? How, why, why did three people all at the same time just donate $25? Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on, I gotta write down your names. I don't wanna get them wrong. Okay, Luna Daisy. YouTube doesn't save these on the other page for me, so it's really confusing once your donation like goes away on the screen. So I just have to write these down so that, and my handwriting's atrocious, so that I can actually make your shirt and name it after you. Crab. Rang. Goon. Oh, zeros as the O's. I guess we have more shirts to make. I guess we're not done. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Much appreciated. You're all very, very generous. So this island looks awesome. Uh, there's a lot of different types of paths. We have a little orchard. Marshall and Raymond are having a, a little showdown over here. It looks like they've gotten into some kind of fight. <laughs> and Raymond was the aggressor there. He was kind of pushing Marshall. I saw that. That was a little uncomfortable for everybody involved. Oh, so you've combined your orchard with your flower garden, it seems. That's not a bad idea. Two essential things, flower gardens and orchards, and you put them in the same place. Um, so this, is, this is interesting. This is the second farm we've seen tonight that is using the wrong harvesting equipment. This is probably a little bit better than the steamroller we saw earlier, but if I had to guess, you're going to lose a lot of product if you plan on using this to harvest your crops. Here, watch. It'd be so cool if it started grabbing stuff. I think Nintendo made the tractor a little too rare. I love that this house has a driveway with a golden car. And one of these. I like that everyone's house has like its own little yard and personality. Uh, and what was the house that we were told we can go into? P 
Kichi. Oh, so it's the one on the mountain all by itself. Okay, cool. <laughs> Chopped wheat with dirt. Is this another orchard? There's no fruit. And there's like a skeleton. I'm lost. I'm way lost. Okay, wait. Okay, so this is this is the little play area we walked through earlier. We got Able Sisters right here. These paths are really nice. Oh, found a little outdoor bistro or cafe. Pie pies, of course. The steamrollers for jam making. Get that right? I don't really want tomato or carrot jam. That sounds gross. And that's what they were gearing up to make. Oh, little, little plants over here for sale. Got the museum, of course, the fossils, an outdoor concert for some reason. Because why not? I, I like how you staggered the T-Rex fossil. That's clever. I've never seen that before. Their beach is lightly decorated. I like that. I like a lightly decorated beach. For me. That's that's how I do it. I don't I don't put too much on my beaches. We got some uh, for folks who like to gamble, you got your fix right here in front of Able Sisters. Got some darts. I like this little fountain area you made. That's cool. There's there's a lot of little spots to see. I keep circling back and then seeing something I didn't see before. Faith, cool. Thank you for sharing. Hopefully, you get randomly drawn, um, which... There's a lot of islands, so it might not happen, but uh, thank you for submitting. If you ever do get Discord, yes, we do have a room that you can post your dream addresses in there. A lot of people do. You can even attach a picture in there so people can kind of get an idea of what your island's like before they decide to tour it. Everyone who got a shirt should make it their profile pic. <laughs> okay, as long as you don't mint them into NFTs or anything like that. Let me pop up here. Ooh. Oh, wait. That's this house we were allowed to go into. Oh, this is nice. This is this is nice. I really like what they've done with their yard. It's all fenced in, and there's little seating areas. Oh, this is really cool. All right. Let's check out their house. I joined Discord to do the 4 before challenge. Wish me luck. Awesome, Sean. Good luck to you. And yeah, before we, we check out this house, which, look ha which looks haunted, I will remind everybody. Yeah, that, that's a good point. In the Discord, we are running an event right now. The winner will get 100 Nook Miles tickets. We do these every so often. Um, you need to build something. It could be whatever you want it to be. It could be inside. It could be outside. It can be using Harv's Island. It could be your own house. But you need to build a 4x4 four four build. Um... I'll be honest, we kind of regret making the theme so broad, <laughs> but it's been really cool. There have been some really, really awesome submissions so far, um, and that contest is running uh, into March, uh, early, early March. So all the details are in our Discord. NFTs and MM NMTs are two different things. <laughs> if I, I can't really explain NFTs because they're very, very popular and dumb and complicated and... Um, just look up what's an NFT and don't try to go down that rabbit hole too far if you do that. That's all I can say. Just be very careful. <laughs> I love this kitchen. I like what they've done with the counters and the wall dividing it. I like that their fridge is nice and cold. This is really cool. This is a very unique design for a kitchen. Let's pop back here. Oh, the bedroom has a similar vibe. <laughs> I love this. This gyro is really into the music. This house has a cool vibe.
Yeah, artsy with the best description of NFTs so far. And yes, hello to everybody just joining us. There's a YouTuber who explains them, I would say, very diplomatically and very well. Uh, they go by the name of, I think they're Josh Strife Hayes. If you look up their video about what, FT, what NFTs are, they give you a very, like, layman's explanation, you know, of, of exactly what they are without getting too into the weeds. This bathroom is really, really cool. I appreciate that they've kind of sectioned off, like, a little laundry area. I, I'm with you, Artsy. I was, I started out open-minded, and then I learned what I needed to learn. And I'm like, yep, <laughs> that's everything I need to know about these. Ooh. Well, this is shimmery and nice. So this house, they use a, a lot of very similar textures, items, things like that, but it works. It's really cool. Love the polishes in here. This is why we're frenemies. <laughs> wow, okay. Ooh. It's very different in here compared to the rest of the house. They got all their villager photos. It's very pink. Look at which, what photos they have. They got a lot of them. My goodness. Really well done house. I wish I knew more than one language. I'm just not to... Uh, not that smart. Oh my. I think this is the person who lives in that house. And they're wearing an eye patch. A really cool custom made uh, dress. But they, it looks like they've, they've uh, <laughs> gotten into some trouble. Maintaining the drama. All right, I'll allow it. Ugh. This island is super, super cool. There's so many sections, though. I feel like I'm missing, like, so many bits and bobs here. So we got more houses. I was only told to go into the one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be respectful. Also, it took us a while to tour that one house. Trilingual, oh my gosh. It was really impressive. Put the campsite back here. Secret beach tucked away in the background. Finnish, English, and Swedish. That's really cool. Oh man. They don't uh they don't do too good of a job teaching American children other languages. I'll just say that. It would have been really cool. To have like learned a new language at a really young age. That would have been like I think the easiest time for for me to have learned something like that. But that's not that's not what we do. So I finally found the neighborhood. I thought I had seen this on the map, and I, I had almost forgotten about it. But yeah, everyone's got their own little yards. We've seen stuff like this before. I love this little display here. That's really nice. Yeah, this is awesome. I am loving this island. It's really cool. I like how you've incorporated this rock. I know it's not it's like a weird thing for me to point out, but most of the time we see rock gardens. I make rock gardens, everyone's making rock gardens. And you've let your rocks just kind of be free spirited, you know? You're like, I don't need a whole rock garden. Like this is where this rock lives, and then like there's other rocks probably just in similar situations. You've worked around them. You've let the rocks be rocks. And I respect that. 
How did you... Wait. How did they get wrapping paper that was like the same color but had a different bow? I'm guessing one's just yellow and one's gold and that's that. But they look almost identical. My uh, mysterious dress. Cherry. That's something I can't pronounce. A pan flute. And pumpkins. All right. Well, I do wish I, I had the uh, pan flute while we were, you know, checking out the island. Now we've almost seen everything. We can try to play along with this. It's not working too well. Yeah, I think we've seen a lot of the highlights here. But it's a really cool island. <laughs> Name Neo, how's it going? Okay. We have shirts to make. Let's move on. Thank you for sharing your island. I don't think they're here anymore, but that's okay. Yeah, Potato, we do like to keep the uh, chat in English, and that's mostly on me, as I said. It's the only one I know. Huh. All right. Shirts. Okay, I got three shirts. Three donations came in, all $25, which was amazing. And now we got to get back to work and make some shirts. More like make a mess. That's when you see these shirts, you think these aren't shirts. And whoever made these should be locked up. How many? Okay, we still have plenty of empty pattern slots. That's good. That's good. All right. So we have our first shirt for Kitten Amy One. All right, Kitten Amy One. So I think, I think this is gonna be easy let's go with uh, purple sleeves all right oh I didn't need to do that I could just do this and that okay uh, so kitten Amy there's kitten in the name so it needs to be something cat related what about a cat that is being dropped from a helicopter into a, a um, forest? Into a forest. Yep, that's what we're going to do. First, we need a helicopter. Mm, I don't know how to draw a helicopter. We're going to make the helicopter... Uh, also purple. And I'm going to use the stamp tool because I think that'll be easier. Um, so let's see. Let's let's kind of make it like that. That looks good already. Um, okay, the helicopter needs little propellers on it. So we'll do this. All right. And helicopters have little tails on them, so we'll go ahead and We'll put like a little little tail on it, and then we'll give it a little uh, propeller in the back. There we go. Hey. Well, this isn't coming out bad at all. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That looks, that looks pretty swell. Okay. Uh, we need a forest. So um, do I have like a good stamp for that? I wonder if we take the star stamp. And, yeah, we bring it down here. If we literally just like. You see how foresty that looks? Solid plan. Solid plan, me. 
Let's give these trees some little tree trunks here. So it just makes it, it drives that point home like this is a forest. Don't be confused. It's definitely a forest. All right. So far, this is probably the nicest shirt I've ever made. Let's fix that. So we're making, we're, we're drawing a kitten that is being dropped into a forest because reasons. Um, so now we need a kitten. What color should our kitten be? Maybe brown? Maybe a little gray kitten? Maybe a little gray kitten. All right. Um, now, to make it proportional to the helicopter and the forest, it needs to be pretty tiny. So maybe that's our kitten. I'm just kidding. We'll we'll go a little bit we'll go a little bit harder than that. Um, that can be its kitten body, and um, that can be also its kitten body. Maybe this is its little kitten head. Uh, that's its little kitten tail, and these are its little kitten legs. Um, okay, so far so good. Shoot, there's one problem. That kitten is too close to the helicopter. We gotta remember that that design. That pixel art kitten was top notch. All right, let's let's say the kitten's a little bit closer to the forest. All right, so here's its little kitten body, kitten tail, kitten head, uh, kitten paws. Perfect. Okay. And then we have to make a parachute because it's going to get hurt if it doesn't have a parachute, and we can't have that because cat violence is wrong. So let's let's make the parachute blue. Um, and so that will be maybe something like this. Um, I don't think it needs to be any more complicated than that, really. I guess I guess I actually want to go like that. Okay, and we need another color now to, to, to represent the string that is tied to the kitten. But I'm running out of like colors that I want to use. Maybe it's purple again, like the helicopter. I made its paws black for some reason. I guess that makes more sense to do that. And then we can make the drawstring. There we go. You know what? When I put effort into these, they actually look pretty darn good. Congratulations to Kitten Amy for getting uh, the best shirt of the night. All you got to do is put some kind of cat in your name and it's a pair of kitty drop. And then, you know, I actually take your shirt more seriously, apparently. That's, that's what happens. My favorite part's the helicopter. I think I outdid myself. All right, next up, we have Luna Daisy. All right? So all I know about daisies is that they're, they're flowers. Um, I don't even know if daisies are in Animal Crossing. And I, I'm pretty decent at Animal Crossing flowers, but other than that, do we have daisies? I don't really know. Um, let's just say we don't, so I feel better. And then let's grab... Let's grab a stamp tool. Let's make it nice and big. And I'm going to actually make a little mound. Okay. So um, this is my mound. And I'm going to make it green. And this is where there's Daisy May. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. You shouldn't have said that. You messed up. So this is where Daisy May lives. I was going to draw a flower. Now this is, we're drawing where Daisy May lives. Um, I don't know how to draw Daisy May. I don't even remember all the dominant colors of a Daisy May. I think Daisy May is like a little brown critter. I think that's the color of the fur. It's hard, it's hard to remember. So let's, let's say that, let's say that uh, maybe, maybe that's Daisy May. And turnips are white, though. What do I do about this? Um, hold on. We got to change this color. We got to make it a little less. There we go. There we go. We can make it gray. That's good. She's a boar. Yeah, I don't know how to draw a boar. Um, don't ruin her. She's so cute. 
Well, she lives on that that mound, and so I didn't have a lot of pixels to work with, so I just went with that little stick right there. Um, and then Daisy May's got got turnips, right? And so we need to we actually do need to reclaim our color there. All right, there we go. And she keeps the turnips on her head for some reason. I've never quite understood why. So let's see. Okay, I'm getting carried away. It's getting to be kind of bad here. I apologize, but I just got an idea. I got a, a tinge of inspiration, and you're all going to not like it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. So Daisy May, uh, in this universe, doesn't have a bunch of turnips that she carries around. She has one, as, as someone in chat put it, tornip. <laughs> turnips looking a little thick. So I think this would probably, potentially, break somebody's neck. If, if you were this big, and the thing on your head was this big... I think it would hurt your neck. I think it would break your neck. And I think what would happen then is nothing good. Nothing good would come of carrying something this big on your poor neck. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Cool. It's done. All right, Luna Daisy. I don't think Luna Daisy is going to like their shirt. What? Why is everyone getting so upset? Why? What? <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> what is wrong? Hey, Tom. How's it going? Nobody tell Tom what just happened. Okay. What? I. It's just another shirt. I forgot this one, too. Oh, we still have Crab Rangoon to do as well. Wear my creations? That's a lot of clothing to wear. I don't think I can wear that many shirts at once. How many shirts do I still have to make? I just have the one. I have uh, Crab Rangoon. Um, Diamond Girl has it going. So Crab Rangoon deserves a shirt. I don't know if you've ever had uh, Crab Rangoon. It's delicious. Um, but I don't really know what it looks like anymore because it's been a long time since I've had crab rangoon so i'm going to uh just have to go by memory and i don't know if you've learned this by now my memory is not so good in case that wasn't clear i got memory problems i'm going with green sleeves um it's not going to match the rest of the shirt but that's probably for the best maybe it'll distract from whatever it is i'm about to do Oh, there you are, crab and goon. All right, perfect. So I think what we do is we make a crab. That's a big crab. Okay, that's a little too big. And this is a little too small, but maybe it's not because we might need we might need the space. So crabs are red-ish. Um, okay, perfect. I'm going to hand draw the arms because I'm I'm that kind of artist. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. I don't remember how many arms crab has. I think, are they like spiders? Do they have like eight legs? I don't know anything about crabs. Um, in that case, I think I would do something like this. Let's 
six. Well, now they have eight. So they also got little pincers, but I think you're just going to need to use your imagination because I'm kind of running out of room. Um, maybe, maybe what I'll do for you in case you're having trouble imagining what it would look like if I drew a pincer, I'll give one, I'll give one of its arms a pincer and then you can just imagine one of these on all of the other ones. There. It's got like one big pincer. All right. Uh, okay. Now it it's looking a little lifeless. So let's give it a face. Like that. And let's make him happy. Like that. Oh my goodness. Adrian, thank you so much for your donation. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm taking your name down right now. I guess we have another shirt to make. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. All right, so we have the crab. What I don't have is the Rangoon part. That's the part I'm not sure. That's the part I'm not sure how to do. So maybe what we'll do is imagine it kind of like a... We got to imagine it like wrapped in something, right? Like I think because it's, like it's like a crab wrapped in something so let's let's say this is our crab and it's getting wrapped into like a burrito like a a crab burrito so we'll just draw the the bottom of the burrito and then we'll draw the top of the burrito kind of like behind the crab like this it's like an open face crab burrito and we'll grab our paint bucket tool just to fill in all the burrito bits okay all right so that's that's looking like a crab with a stripe going through it not quite burrito like um but you know what i like on my crab rangoon mustard So let's cover it in mustard that is raining from the sky. Um, I can't, I don't have room to draw the mustard bottle. So you'll just have to imagine. And then, oh, it's poor eyes. Let's, let's make sure that it can actually see what's going on. There we go. Um, so it's got its mustard. And then the only problem is we can't really see what's going on. So I just got to do what I've been doing with some of these shirts and that's making it a little bit darker. So we'll just bring this down a couple notches, couple more, couple more. There we go. Perfect. All right. I think this resembles something I've eaten before. Ah, uh, yes, mustard. It's awesome. Good. I'm glad I got that part right. I was worried that the mustard was something I was just making up in my head, like that I just misremembered, but it sounds like, and you would know, um, it sounds like I got it right, Crab Rangoon, so I appreciate that. Um, cool. This is great. The green sleeves really do distract from the front part of the shirt, which is terrifying. Um, okay. Oh, did we get another one? Copper Valor also donated $30. Oh my goodness. Okay. We got so many shirts. We got, that's, that's two shirts now. Let me go ahead and write your name down. I should remember this though. I cannot believe how much freaking money you guys raised today. It's so awesome. Thank you so much. There's also a stream tomorrow, and I'm just going to leave this up. We're, we're definitely doing this again tomorrow. Uh, I'll be decorating my gold core island. So you won't want to miss that. Uh, okay, Adrian. I'm looking at your profile picture, and I think I, think I can like... 
it's pretty small, but I think I can see you, your profile picture, you know, the, the essence that is the character that you identify as on YouTube. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to make it exactly like, thank you for the anonymous $20 donation. I appreciate that. I'm going to make it exactly like that. It's going to be perfect. I'm going to start with the hair because I think the hair really shapes the face of this character. So it kind of swoops in like this and then kind of comes over your head like this. And then there's like another part of the hair, like this, this other part, it's kind of like tied off. And then it kind of goes into this ponytail like that. Perfect. Okay. Let's stick a face in here. Something like that here. Let's, let's try again with the, well, we'll put the, the hair kind of covering the face a little bit. And we'll round off the face. It's perfect. Okay. And then um, you have your character has a torso. And then I think, I think you're holding a bow. I don't really know. I'll just say it's a bow. And then you your, your arm is kind of like coming up like this. Like, yay. Like that. I got a bow. And then in this hand is this bow and I'm going to, I'm going to exaggerate the bow a little bit here because I think, I think it deserves to be seen. So it's going to be maybe like this. Oh, I guess it has another layer to it. Okay. We'll do that. And then, oops, sorry. I'm messing up. There we go. And then like comes in like that. Okay. All right. And then your arm needs to be a little bit longer. Sorry, we'll just go ahead and there we go. And maybe the string comes over the arm. That's art right there. There we go. Is it katanas? No, it's Morgan. It's clearly a bow. Trust me. I think we need to change this color a little bit. Let's darken that up. I just didn't want to match the hair, but that looks good. No colors. What are you doing? There we go. All right. Uh, you're just kind of a floating torso right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and remedy that situation. Oops, wrong color. Huh. There we go. You're in uh, your fighting stance like that. Oh, we got to give you some eyes. And then maybe you're shouting out your enemies telling them to shut up shut up enemies i guess that's how warriors would that doesn't make any sense i was trying to make the mouth and the face not the same here how about this what if instead of shouting your enemies you're kind of facing the camera Um, I can't fit two eyes next to each other. So maybe you're not facing the camera because that's going to look really weird. Okay, fine. I'll do this. There. Someone's about to get arrowed. Oh, you don't have an arrow. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, so you're, you have this arrow right here. It's got this little uh, silver tip. And it's it's made of... What is it made of? I've used all these colors. Maybe maybe it's orange. There we go. That doesn't look like anything. That doesn't look like anything. I don't know here. I'm just going to change some colors around because that's a lot easier. Uh, we need to make this more silvery. Sure. And then... We need to make this orange less orangey. Okay, that's fine. There. Okay. This needs to be like... That's good. There we go. 
Oh, when we never did the sleeves. How about the sleeves tie in? What color should the sleeves be? Should they just be gray? Let's just make them gray. There. Now, part of the arrow's under the armpit, but other than that, I think it's a masterpiece. It's a nerf dart. Uh, okay, so that was for Adrian. It's Adrian Grain. I, I can't read my own handwriting now because I'm dumb. I wrote too fast. Have they talked in a little bit? How do I get this wrong? Let me scroll up. Oh, I see it. Granny, right? Perfect. All right, just another, another day, another shirt. And then we have Copper Valor. Copper Valor with a very generous $30 donation. Uh, Copper Valor. I don't... Uh, your profile picture looks like some words and a design, and I have no idea what's going on. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to do the, the classic give you a hobby you didn't ask for trick. Uh, and that's when basically I draw your likeness and I say, oh, well, you you have this hobby where you do this thing. And for you... Let's see, we've done skateboarding, we've done running. Those are very athletic hobbies. And I'm not, like, I don't even know why my brain's going there. I'm not an athletic person. I don't do running and stuff. That's silly. What I do is I sit here in this chair and I play video games. That's what I do. So I think that's what you're going to do. You're going to be playing video games. Um, so we're going to make your face. Uh, it's going to be about that big. Just to leave room for details and stuff, and just so just so we get it out of the way, um, we're gonna make your your body here. So you're you're holding a game controller, and you're just kind of sitting. Right now, it doesn't look like you're sitting or anything. We'll fix that in a second. Okay, and for some reason, you're not looking at the screen. You're looking at us, and you're um, you're not really happy about it. I don't know why. Also, um, you have a blue hat. You, you always wear this blue hat. It doesn't matter if you're indoors. It doesn't matter if you're at a funeral. It, you always wear this blue hat. That's just your thing. You don't take it off. I don't know why people are frustrated with you because it's always sweaty. Um, you know, it's, it always has this like, you know, gross kind of like brown kind of ring on it here, like where it doesn't get washed and just kind of where the hat meets your forehead. I, why don't you wash the hat? That's for you to figure out, not me. I, all I know is you have a nasty hat that you just don't take off. Um, and then let's see. So you're playing video games. Let's, um, Let's see. So the TV is facing you, which means this is really easy. That's your TV. It's pretty big. That's a pretty decent sized TV. Um, and you got one of those new TVs that has its own legs. Um, and the, the point of this is so that it can like, it can go with you. It, like if you need to like, you know how the Nintendo Switch, like you pick it up and stuff. This is in the future where people are tired of looking at that really little screen. So these TVs like follow you wherever you go. Um, and wherever you have a magic chair, and you feel like popping a squat, this TV like just, you know, it gets ready for video games. Um, your controller is this really gross looking off brand green, lime green controller, uh, which is so bad because those off brand controllers are terrible. It's so bad that it needs an antenna just to like get signal. Most controllers these days use Bluetooth. There's no extra bits and bobs hanging off. Yours has this weird antenna. Um, and that's probably why you're not happy because the connection is bad, even though you're like right next to the TV. Um, 
and I feel like I feel like I did a good job. This is so not me. I don't know. Cuz whenever I whenever I see your name, this is what I imagine. And I think all of us now, whenever we see your name, this is exactly what we're going to imagine. Um but don't worry because I'm a proper artist. I'm going to make sure that the sleeves of your shirt tie into the color of your awful off-brand video game controller, just like that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give you an exclusive. I'm going to make one of your sleeves the color of your your dirty hat. And I'm even, because I'm feeling really kind right now, I'm even going to give um, the, the shirt, like part of it, a, a nasty... See the inside there, how it's getting all brown? So, like, inside the sleeve, because you don't take your the shirt off. So, like, see how meta that is? Like, it's a picture of a guy who doesn't ever take a hat off and the hat got dirty. And then when you wear the shirt, it's like one of the sleeves is all brown because you never take the shirt off and it got dirty. Um, and it wouldn't make sense for one of the sleeves to be like that. So, I'll just go ahead and do the same inside the other sleeve. There we go. See, now, now that's looking pretty good. I'm actually very jealous of your shirt. Chair is needed. Eh, I got bored and I didn't want to make the chair anymore. He's in the future, so maybe he like has a magic, there's a lot of P's in that name. Maybe, maybe he has a magic chair. Maybe, maybe in the future people are just, they got good glutes, you know? I, I don't know why we're judging Copper Valor and their lack of chair. I think I think it's fair to say that Copper is really good at sitting down chair or not. The TV didn't need a chair. Why should Copper use one? Okay. Solid shirt. Perfect. Crystal, hello. I hope I'm welcome here. You are welcome here. You're here on a very weird day, <laughs> but you're more than welcome to be here. <laughs> Look at all the shirts. Again, each one of these shirts represents at least $25 that one person donated to the cause. Uh, we are helping children and families in crisis in Ukraine right now. Uh, your donations are going to get them food, water, things they need, and uh, thank you. Just thank you. I may, here, here I am playing dumb games, making stupid shirts, uh, and here you all are making a difference. Peak creativity. <laughs> I feel like I got lucky with my shirt. <laughs> you really did. You caught me at the right time. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm working on for tomorrow's stream. Chad just arrived. Chad, you're here just in time. I'm talking about tomorrow's live stream. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Uh, here's the island without snow, by the way. It's weird. I kind of, I don't know, part of me misses the snow a little bit. Um, so we worked last time on the neighborhood up here. So all of the different Tories came in finally. Oh, Wisp is here. Blech. Uh, I've never, I never really settled on what we wanted to do with the towers. If, if it, it was going to be the flower beds or if it was going to be these. Um, I also, I got the throne. So I put the throne down and we got the little stands here that I need to put stuff in. What I want to do tomorrow is focus on this area that I'm walking in right here. These houses have pretty exclusive real estate and I want to make sure that they can make the most of it. So we're going to do some like sweet gold core somethingers or others up here. Um, still working on this too. I have some, I have some download or downloading I need to do for displays, uh, you know, or displays like custom, custom designs. I still got to get the picnic blanket I want for here. I still got to get all the stuff back here. Been very lazy. Um, I'll go see red in a second. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And tomorrow I'm hoping to do some of that work. 
So I'm going to spend some time tomorrow preparing for that. And then at 6.30 p.m. Eastern, I'll be live again. Uh, let's go talk to Red. Let's see if we can get any art out of him. Any real art. Oodles, it's going good. How are you? Thank you for being here. <laughs> Free real estate? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> um... Okay. I think I need this. I think I have everything else up there, and I know these two are fake. I don't know if that's fake, but I'm pretty sure I have it anyway, so I'm just going to buy this. Who's getting evicted? Oh, that's Butch. That's Butch. He's leaving. Butch is out of here. It's good. Had a lazy day. Really needed it. Oh, I love a good lazy day. I think that might be part of Sunday for me. I got a lot of editing to do, but I'm going to do my best to spend some time being lazy this weekend. Who are the villagers? Well, for now, our villagers are Leonardo, Pajmina, Marina, Cat, Coco, Joey, Casto, Marty, Butch, and Marshall. Now, Butch is leaving. Butch crossed me, and that's it. When your Animal Crossing villagers cross you, that's what happens. Pajmina is leaving. Uh, the reason these two are leaving for real, though, is they're not gold core enough to be here. Marina was leaving. And then I was told I needed to make a pink core section of my island. And I went ahead and did it. And Marina happens to fit the theme perfectly. So this is Marina's house, and it's not going anywhere. But I did add a few gold core touches on the door and inside as well. Look at Butch's face. He knows what he did. So we made some adjustments to Marina's house. And uh, I really like them. I like them a lot. I like coming in here, even if she's not crafting. So Marina's not leaving. Um, and then Marshall and Coco, interesting story with them. They were found on villager hunts. And especially Marshall. Marshall took a really long time to get. And so it's not really easy to let go of Marshall. And then Coco is cool too. So I found a solution for Marshall and Coco. And we might actually work on this tomorrow instead. It just depends on what I end up getting done. Marshall and Coco live over here. Now, you'll notice they're not, they're not in the big neighborhood which is up there. They're down here. So these are my peasants. I live on a gold core island. Every gold core island needs some peasants. These are those. They're my peasants. They run the farm. And right now my farm produces gold roses. Um, and, and business is good. But eventually I'll do other crops. And so I need, I need them tended to, and so peasants. Also, it's really weird to see a snowman melting without snow. <laughs> let's let's get a little picture with this guy it's not often that you could take a picture like this is Marshall my favorite I I don't know Marshall's cool I it's I found I have more least favorites than I do favorites that's kind of how it shook out So as long as they're not certain villagers, they're good in my book. Marshall's good in my book. Super Mario plush team, how's it going? Uh, let me see if there's any other things going on the island that I missed today. I need, this is my arena. 
um, for anyone who's newer here, uh, ignore all the crap in the arena. It's a big empty space that's being used for storage and various projects right now, but uh, the purpose of this place is so that I can host fun little minigame tournaments and stuff without disrupting the rest of the island. So it's like a dedicated space for doing whatever I want. Um, and I really wanted that on, on an island. Um, you want to do the 4x4? Four four? Do it! We got the... This is I, I took this picture over here. I, I made a 4x4 four four grid just so everyone knew about what that looked like. And we got a whole bunch of entries on our 4x4 four four challenge in the Discord. It's only in the Discord right now. You can uh, check it out. I'll be the new EJ. No, EJ dedicates whole islands. I just want, I just want a little slice of my island. <laughs> Uh, for that, uh, I did, I did chat with him not that long ago. I, I had an idea for a mini game and I shared it with him. I don't know if he ever used it, but anyway, I like Marshall because he looks like he's upset about something. Yeah. So, uh, in any case, yeah, we'll either be decorating up here tomorrow and or uh, we'll do the the farm tomorrow. So I just gotta source some items figure all that out uh and yeah jousting tournament there you go cool i passed wisp yeah i i will continue to do so as well <laughs> i don't like helping wisp wisp and i we don't get along he's he's really not good at giving me things i want or need But yeah, so that's the plan. That's the plan. That's what we're working on. That stream is tomorrow, starting at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. I think, I think that's all I got. I think my throat is sufficiently done. So that should make tomorrow great. And yeah, oops, we got a recipe. Well, I should at least check what the recipe is. Fancy Rose Wreath, which I already know. <sighs> Thanks for the stream. You're welcome. Listen, everybody, thank you so much for your donations. Um, that was so cool. I, I set a goal of $500. I wasn't sure what we'd be able to raise. I was not anticipating more than doubling the goal. Uh, if I can, I will change the goal for tomorrow but I don't know if it'll let me edit the thing, so we'll see. Um, if not, I'm just gonna leave it up, and if you guys wanna donate, I'll make some more shirts tomorrow. I think it'd be fun. Uh, yeah, and this is great, because this goes straight to the the cause. You know, I, I love that YouTube has this feature, because I don't have to actually handle any money or anything. It just goes where it needs to go. And that money is gonna help uh, by water and supplies for families and children affected by what's going on in the Ukraine. So it was really important to me and it was so, so cool to see how much we raised. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but don't be surprised if we do something similar like this next weekend. If, if it feels like we kind of need to, uh, I'd like to, do this every so often and so we'll just you know we'll kind of see all right guys have a great night thank you for being here i will see you tomorrow be safe and uh i'll catch you later see you